Hey y'all, post-completion Maggie here, just to let you guys know that this is the ending for Echoes of the Eye DLC. And that's all I'll say about that. Yeah, if you can tell by all the time down below, yeah, this is a large one, I know. But I was just really in the moment and I got carried away and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for being here and let's go. Right, we have things to do, y'all. Things to do. Secrets to uncover and darkness to embrace. Right. Okay, it's showing that again. Um, not quite sure why. I did not go in my free time and grab that last projection map, so we're gonna do it all together at some point. But I think I think it should be fairly easy to do. A projection that seems to reveal a secret location somewhere. Projecting the real. Da, 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 da. So we read all of these at the very end. If you guys are not caught up with where we're at. At this point in time, I do want to beeline for the map projection points. And then I was hoping to... Let me actually start the stranger first. But yeah, I'm trying to beeline to the map projection points. Gather the second one. And then kind of see where we're at from there. I think after gathering these secret spots will try to just take each and every dream state like location one by one and try to uncover everything we possibly can so this is i think this is going to be the closest one and that is the okay okay let's check out map projection one and i think it's going to have some kind of deal with secret location next to the burned reel right Lots of trials and errors today. We're probably gonna be dozing off quite a bit just to speed up and make the best use of our time and then also the 22 minutes. I'm gonna try not to get... I feel like by the DLC, your conscience, like you're very... My brain. You're very aware that you have this cycle that you have to deal within the parameters of. And then I'm also aware that there's multiple parts to this DLC and areas and locations that I need to get to. And I somehow constantly feel like I'm not doing enough in a day, but I don't think it's about making, to me at least, I don't feel like, oh shoot, no. Oh. I don't feel like it's gonna be the worst thing if I have to reset the day more. Although I'm so, I'm so excited. Like we're getting closer to, I know, let me repair the hole. I'm getting excited to be able to go on some of the forums and read through the comments and just kind of find out all the, oh. And find out um, maybe just things that I missed because I feel like I'm being thorough, but I talked about this actually on my stream the, the other day before I recorded this, but the downside to me not looking things up or reading comments like I traditionally, I don't traditionally look things up on my playthroughs. I still try to make it very organic and um, not impacted by other people. But occasionally I will look at the comments for other games. I did that for like Final Fantasy VII and that's how I kind of realized that I was doing the combat a little wrong. With this game, because I'm trying so hard not to get spoiled, I'm also falling into the trap of if I, if I, do something a way that I would do it, but I get a result that is positive. My brain is now telling me that is the way to do that. So I'm almost creating like my own confirmation bias of some sort where I do it the Maggie way. I do it the probably wrong way, not the way that the game intends, but I get the desired result. And so I don't think about it from a different perspective because I've just been rewarded for doing something a different way did it still work yes but does it end up kind of probably messing with me in other ways because i then am gonna apply that same principle to things that it probably won't be able to brute force ah no go back no oh, it's okay so it's a very interesting and a little bit uh difficult situation to be in if you're not willing to look things up while you're playing something or at least be open to hearing or seeing other ways to go about it. So I think that's what I'm looking forward to the most is finding out all the ways that are maybe how the game intended it to be or ways that you guys did. Maybe y'all found different ways from me. 
I also am, I'm starting to believe, I think I said this at one of my intros, but I'm genuinely starting to believe you guys that, I think that's our projection pool. I really believe I could do Subnautica now. Like I know, I'm pretty sure we've confirmed there's nothing in the water at this point, but I feel really good about it. So I think this first one is somewhere in this corner, somewhere up here. I'm gonna actually jump from over there. And now that we know how to do all of this, we can just open this door up. I'm also trying to think if I saw everything in here, because this was one of the first buildings that I entered. So anything like when you first uncover this whole land, you're not necessarily taking your time with it. So I do just wanna, I wanna throw this in here real quick. Right, because I didn't have, did I have a green lantern? Let me go back for you. And the biggest takeaway from the last video that I need to remember is, remember, turning out lights. So the lights correlate in the dream world. I think, I don't know if it's eye for eye, but the lights in the dream world impact the lights in the real world. So these were lanterns in that one location and that's how I was able to uncover that secret. So this is the episode where I feel like we're gonna be doing a lot of back and forth. And I'm even wondering if the secret location is actually related more towards the dream state. But I know for a fact that they impact, I know. No, I think I read. I think I watched this, I, I can't remember at this point. I think we see it, right? We see it on the, um, yeah, on the slide. More than anything, just getting Eye of the Universe expanding, sending the signal. They saw it. It burns this thing. He gets obsessed with the Eye of the Universe. With eyes wide open. I think it's arms wide open, but. And then we started getting this. And then the stranger was born. And then they flied, or they flied, they flied. And they flew over here. We haven't been reversing, and that's something that I was wondering if reversing actually plays an equally important part, but. And then I think there was one more. I'm gonna be going back through all of, like, I probably will be double tapping a lot of these reels because just like we found out that if you don't use the green light, it doesn't update on your, it doesn't update on the ship log. So when I didn't use the green light, that's why we didn't find the fourth location. So I'm gonna just make sure we're officially going through, burned out, super burned out. Okay, no, I remember this, they close it. The light illuminates, this creepy guy, and he shows that and it locks the first one. And then we lost this, and then it's the same thing. I wish you could see how many, I, I don't think they have that many slide decks to begin with, right? I wonder if keeping it on a specific one impacts the game as well. Like maybe if you keep it on, okay. So we need to head over here. Oh, you can get to it from the backside. No, 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 you can't. What's over here? This is where we came down the first time. Dam has not started, so it should be up here. I wonder if they're all by the projection buildings. Okay. No. It's the same, same. I felt like it was right here in this corner. The only downside is, is it something that I have to do in the dream state? Hole, hole breach. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. It might be something you have to find at nighttime. It's not necessarily nighttime, but it makes me feel like it's nighttime. Okay. 
We've been here. That's not the secret. I have a feeling it's something that you have to access at night. Which I don't. <laughs> okay. Okay. It was kind of like up in the corner, right? Like it wasn't down here. Just double check. Kind of go up and over. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where they burned the slides. This is where the burned slide building used to be. Oh! <gasps> Ship log. Look at all of them. This is what they used to. I was thinking too far up. Secret door. Secret slide. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I must have removed the lantern, so that's what closed it. I'm out. I'm out. So we need to be looking exactly at the care, like exactly where it shows on the map. Oh, look at the spirits. You can see these like, oh no. You can see on the slide, do you see like these little like... Mm -hmm. This is huge! Back up. Alright, yeah look, that's freaky. Okay, so I feel like just by observing this, you've got three kind of... It actually reminds me a lot of um, the Fates. Is it the Fates or the... Yeah, the Fates in Hercules or something, right? Where they have the, they're spinning the webs of whatever it is and stuff. Um, there's three, and so I'm thinking that's the three chains, but wait, this symbol is one of the significant symbols. This is one of the symbols that they use to lock the thing away. So he's holding something in his left hand and then he's holding one of the catchers. He hands him over this, and that guy then takes that and follows the others, or follows these glowing lights to... We saw this. We saw this. Remember? I, I remember seeing this exact spot. The singing. There was like chanting or something. And they walk straight onto here. And he goes to burn it. That's when he burns it. Wait, no! He walks through the flames. Okay, so we need to go across and we have to follow with them and we have to infiltrate and go past that fire. Okay. Easy. You know what we're gonna do? We are going to, after finding the secret locations, I think that's gonna show us what we need to do now too. Remember how I've been lost the entire times? So, how bad is the dam? Pretty, pretty bad. Let me go to bed. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Let's go into the stream state. Is this the scary one? This is the scary one, isn't it? Okay, I do have reduced frights on. How are we gonna... Oh, I have to find an eye. Hold up. I gotta go grab an eyeball. Not an eyeball, but uh, a catcher. Sorry about that. Hopefully we have enough time. This way. Mm -hmm. Get to it before the dam breaks. I've never been in the water when the dam breaks. I just thought about that. I've been on top of a float in the water, but... Okay, artifact. This is good. So we find all these secret locations. We find... I think that will ensure that we find... <gasps> Wait! I just had a thought too! Are these signs in the dream state? And if so, if we blow out these candles, will it somehow... Oh, well, it wouldn't be illuminating that. We've got to figure out how to read the language. But I need to go. I need to go. Hmm... 
Doze off? How? Oh. Okay. It is important for me to keep my eyes peeled too because that's the whole reason when I saw the lights underneath, that was the whole reason I got that idea to go nighttime and blow out the lights and then I would have the path as before. Okay. Let's go ahead and illuminate just this area. We explored this. These, I'm still trying to figure out these, but they wouldn't necessarily open. These lanterns are completely different. Hmm. Right. Have I been back here? I don't think I've been back to this one since I discovered the... Oh, no, no, no. This is what helped me discover that you can go back and forth. Like, you can go from eye to eye. These things, these totems. That's what I discovered. <gasps> Wait, that's a missing part right there. Look at that. Hold on. Now that we know what to do here. Wasn't this a dead end the first time I came here because I did not know? Wait, extinguish. That's different. We've never been able to extinguish that. We've never had an option to extinguish. <gasps> oh. This is just such a clever design by the developers to begin with, though. This whole use of lights to illuminate and then also to have you go from point A to point B and this is, this is huge. What's over here? Don't follow the lights. I just hear Schmeagol's voice in my head. That's the dam. So what does it do when we're in here? Wouldn't I be going underwater? We're about to find out. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Okay, okay. We're resetting the day. I'm resetting the day. No, I'm resetting the day. I'm not swimming out from under there. I'm I'm over it and I'm not at the same time. The water. Okay, so that one we have to get everything done before the dam breaks. That's oh, oh okay. Okay. No, I, I'm still fine with the water because I've stayed above it, but being stuck underneath like that, drown, nope, no. Say what you will. I'm doing what I have to do to make myself enjoy the game. Ah. Uh, so we're gonna have to do all of that before. We were doing so well too. Ship log. This is the captain's log. There! Yes, secret fire, we have secret fireplace. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol. Yes, being handed to a shadowy figure. The figure follows a, pro a procession of lights through a forest to a candlelit building where they carry the container into a secret passage behind the roaring fire. So guys, I'm gonna do this one step at a time. So we're gonna keep trying to infiltrate the river lowlands and then f extract all the information we can. Then we'll move on to the middle, the second slide, then the third hidden slide. A room full of burned slide reels piled next to a strange device. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The figure follows a procession of green lights through a forest to a candlelit building where they carry the container into a secret passageway behind a roaring fireplace. This is huge. Starlit Cove. I found the remains of the burned building on the outskirts. Oh, this was, um, that was from before. Okay. Let's get back in there and try to get the secret fireplace. Oh! Messy! Anytime I get an intense moment, cue Lord of the Rings music. I don't have it set. Hold on. Hold up. Hopefully I don't fall back down. I'm... There. Whoo! This is huge. This is so huge. I feel like we made a lot of discoveries at the very end there yesterday that finally, I talked about it at the end of the last video, but I was just, I felt like I was 
flailing around. Like, I didn't know what to do. I felt like there wasn't a lot to discover, but in reality, it actually is a little bit more straightforward, especially looking back now, like hindsight's 2020. But I would play the base game totally different. I would try to follow all of the Nomai's path pretty exact and in order. I kind of bounced around there a lot, but yeah, oh, I cannot wait to do a second playthrough of this and just do it how I feel like I guess how I feel like it would be done properly, like in a correct order. I'm interested to see what y'all think is kind of like the right order to do it. Cause there's gotta be like, surely the, de the developers kind of spoke about the exact order. Like a walkthrough would surely say that. Okay, eyeball first. No, 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 I'm bringing this, I'm bringing this. That was a fear right there. No, being stuck in that. Plus, I would have had to swim all the way up and the bodies. What happens to the bodies when the dam breaks? Are they just floating around there with me? And what was their end goal with all of this? Did they know that the hole was going to break? Because they would drown too. But do they never die if they drown in the dream state? I guess that's a whole nother question too is... What was the purpose of them even doing this in the first place? Beam me up. I guess that's what we'll find out. I keep calling it the artifact. These are the artifacts, but I guess that's what we'll find out specifically once we unchain the thing. So cool, like such a cool idea. Have it remove or recess with the absence of light. Ah, Doze off. So far, this is the only one that I see creepy crawlies and guys that scare me. So this is the one that I, I feel like this is good. If I can brave this and succeed at gathering all the information here, I can easily get through the rest. Light all the paths. We're gonna go over here and put the lights out there. That's the building, right? Across the way. Extinguish. But we've never been there, so we're gonna prioritize that before getting to the, the building. But this might actually take us along the path that gets us to the building anyway. Okay, that's where we need to go. There should be some lights up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and light these guys. Illuminate. That was creepy. So it just goes out. Like you just lose the light, I guess. Yeah, because as soon as the water puts the light out, makes sense. What was that? Okay, next one. Oh. We should get a. Oh, and then I pull it to me. Oh. Perfect. Hold up. Hold up. No, no, no. Come back. Wait. Come back. I'm pushing it. Okay, that was, uh... <laughs> Let me get another one. Let me get another one. <laughs> okay, it's slowly moving over here. I'm gonna have to hop on. It's like it's moving on its own. Maybe I just follow it. But don't we want to go back that way? Wait. That's where we came from, right? Full speed ahead. I can't flip it in reverse, though. That's the only downside. Huh. We're going into that cave. Oh, no. Full speed. Wait, there, there, there. That's the building I need to get to. And the lights, look. You can see them carrying the lights up there. Oh, snap. Okay, we are going into a dark cave instead of where we need to go. We're going away from it. We're going away from it. It is pitch black. Whoa. 
Wait, this is a way to get from one to another. Look! We're going to the second building. Okay, well that was unintentional, unintentional, but now I know what to do. Can I go back though? I mean, I can't put it in reverse, right? Oh my gosh, you can actually, that's what these caves are for. I'm not gonna hop off here, I'm gonna go to the third one. I wanna watch this all. So from the first building, or from the first dream state, you can get, it's all the same dream state, but you can go across, which must be needed in order to unlock some things. Yeah, I have a feeling you're gonna have to go between them. Mm-hmm. But it only is a one way. Let's see what's coming up on the left side, though. That looks interesting. I kind of want to jump over there. Wait, I don't have my thing. So we... Wait, this might be where it... Okay, I'm hopping off here. Look. This is how you get up, but I can't call it back down. Hmm. This is how you get up to these guys. Well, I can get another float to, yeah, spawn. I guess I should have kept it going on. This is cool. I don't like hearing the water lapping underneath the dock. I know that like sound all too well, but for some reason it yeah. Okay, so once we pass through this, we'll know exactly. So we go through here. And this takes us to the final piece. Or it might not be the final piece. I don't know. Let's find out. We've only ever been on the inside. Wait, this is good. We'll get to see on the outside of... Wait, it does go even further, guys. Look. It goes even further. There must be another part to it. There might be five parts? I thought that there were four. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, that will get us another boat back. Oh. Hmm. Is this how we get across to the centerpiece? No. Maybe. Uh... Yes, because we'd zoom over to it. Hmm. What is this? Looking at the chamber. The ability to look... Oh. Okay. He takes the eye. Mm-hmm. Oh, that building has them. They go up inside of it and they doze off. But I think this just would have told you how... This just would have told you that the eye you can doze off in. And then you see them coming in through the, like, spirit side of it or the ghost side of it. And then they took it. Wow. And that's where they took... Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna keep riding this float. I wanna see what happens. Oh. Also, we're probably getting close to dam breaking. I need to start, um... I need to start looking at when we start it. Because I think it's about... 10 minutes into the cycle? It might be 15. I think it's the halfway mark. It might be 11 minutes. Hmm. Wait a minute. What was that? Oh, that's just the post. Hold on. Wait for me. Oh, door. Okay, onward. So we zoom, zoom, zoom. And we zoom, zoom, zoom. This might put out the light, though. What if there's nothing beyond this? It just takes you back to the first village. 
Is this the River Lowlands? This is where I hopped on. It's a full circle. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it's just a full circle. So this is how we'll be able to go back and forth and back and forth. Okay, so we know that this is coming to the left side of where we need to go. We can't hop off of it, so let's keep moving on. We need to get to that fire. But we know that those guys are roaming about. Oh. Once I start understanding my path. What was that? Oh no, I got lost. We'll actually know. I think we'll know when the rupture happens. Maybe it hasn't even happened yet. Oh no, I'm lost. Okay, this way. Wait, here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So, if I go up and over here, this is where I see... Whee! I saw exactly... Whoa, hold up. Wait. What is that for? Maybe a path for me to get across? I need to get up there. Hmm. I feel like I'm absolutely flopping. It's hard to see anything. Okay, this is good. This should show us this. <gasps> the bridge. Wait. Yes. Go, 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 go. We need to get to it. Maybe we're not close enough, but I don't feel like I hear the same. Oh, wait. But we don't have stairs like we once did. So we have to go back. We have to get back. Oh, no. Not this way. I think we need to head back and up and over. Or maybe you go this way. Oh, this looks promising. No. No. Okay, let's try going back up. Wait, where are my stairs? There. Okay, we get back up on this platform. Damn broke. Damn broke. It's happening. Lights going out. You know what I thought too is I think if- Oh, no, 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 I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Woo! Um... I wonder if you hop on it in time and you ride- if you ride it the pass, like through, do you avoid? I guess, would you avoid waking? No, because you're still asleep at the lowlands. Like you're still asleep at the lowlands. Yeah. Hmm. I'm conflicted with this. I know it feels kind of save scummy somehow. Oh, I'm conflicted, but I know that it's making me feel better about play through it all together like it's making me not as scared so we didn't discover anything new at that time other than we can traverse and we can try that you know oh wait no again body would not be there so it doesn't matter it may matter you know i'm also oh no i i didn't oops how do i keep removing the hud I guess I keep pressing A on it. We're just doing a lot of landings, guys. A lot of landings. Okay, so we need to summon that bridge, and then I think we'll be able to get across. And maybe not get eaten by one of the bird el things. Bird owls? Bird owls? No, they're already owls. They're like an owl and a deer? For the deer and the cantaloupe play. Hmm. Okay, I have everything. We're gonna get these lowlands, mark my words. Ow. 
Okay, push this out. We also need to... So my objectives today, and this is probably going to be a long video because I'm not going to be... I don't think we'll even do, like... I know in some of the segments during the main game, we fast forward for, like, anglerfish to avoid it feeling... Um... Kind of just same, same. And just to cut around a lot of... There was a lot of time. I think with the anglerfish, that was the... The worst part about it was there was just a lot of time trying to set up and get there. And I think there is something like that in here where you're constantly having to... Heave! You're constantly having to, uh... Ah! <laughs> go back to the stranger every time. I don't mind it so much. I think it helps kind of set your mind right before you get in there. But I'm going to try to explore all three of these and find the missing. I, I still can't believe we have to backtrack because I forgot or I just didn't put a lantern down. Bing. All right, put this down. But yeah, I'm going to try to get that spotted, fully explore these because it's the secrets that tell us what we need to do in each of these areas. I'm also trying not to do this longer than I have to. Mm -hmm. We know what to do. We can make the most of this. We we spent a lot of time zooming from one area to the next. I still wonder. I think there... I, I am actually interested by one thing. There There is something I wanted to see. If I'm doing this whole... If I'm zooming around, right? Also, wait. We know how to open those doors now. We know what they're locked by. Uh, if I were to get on the float at the lowlands and travel up to the next area, if I got into the main chamber, could I wake up at that fire and then survive in the dream state longer? Does that make sense? I feel like I probably sound like a crazy person. I think I didn't have a bad idea about going between them, but maybe you have to specifically go to that fire so that you avoid getting drowned down here. Maybe it's worth trying. Good for thought. Mm, I think it's this way. Maybe not. Same, same. No, back out here. My brain's kind of running wild with all the possibilities because we have no idea what the limitations or... There. Oh, that's an odd place for a light. Like, I feel like... Hmm. Maybe it's not so much about the ones that have a bunch, but maybe the single... I'm wondering if these single... Those guys, like, see that? I feel like these singles represent possibly... The singles represent maybe a connection to the real world. Oh, and then you just fall down here. Like maybe this specifically deals with, oh, look, there's a guy going in. Okay. Mm. Wait, I know where we are. I got here by accident the first time. Yeah. This is where I got eaten. Well, on the other side of this. Oh no. Oh no. This. Whoa. Is this where I got eaten? Maybe this was where I got eaten. Now I don't know anymore. Where am I? Wait, that's where I came from. Hmm. That probably... That goes with something else. Go across. Okay, we need to go up this bridge. Don't like this. Okay. 
Okay. Do we see? Okay, I see the lights. If we follow... So I think the image showed us if we follow... If we followed him, we'd be able to get in. But what if he notices us? Look at- hear my footsteps? Okay, I'm gonna give him some distance. Is there anybody behind me? No. Okay, that image showed the person following, right? Because all of them carry it. So he's carrying it to where they're going, right? But weren't there multiple lights? Are there multiple guys gonna come? No, 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 we're working our way there. And that's how, and that's why you can seal. Wait, he's going somewhere different. He's not going the same way. Oh, I don't think this is right. I don't know, I hear the music though, right? I'm too close. I'm too close. No, this is good. This is so good. But I need to be careful because if he sees me on those lights, I'll be spotted. Across the way. I don't know where the stairs are. Oh no. I'm gonna let him go, because once he enters, I think I'll be safe to turn my light on. Because I can't see crap. There we go. He's still in there. Did he go? Wait, look at him. He's looking. But if he's just gonna stand there, then do I have to sneak around him? But I'd have to turn these lights out. There's another guy coming, I have to go. The music stopped. He's there. The music stopped. Oh, I got found! I got found! I got found! What am I supposed to do? Huh. No, 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 don't doze off, don't doze off. No, 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 I don't want to be in the dream state. No! Can I, can I doze back off at the fire to get out of it? I wanted to go move beyond this point. Um, so what am I supposed to do? If they're just gonna see me, I thought I was like properly hiding. Was not true. Was in fact not what happened. Let me wake up. Okay, I'm not going to. I'm gonna try to make the most of this day. Let's turn the light on. Let's get back to our raft before the dam breaks. I think it's about to happen. Oh! Get to the raft! Get to the raft! Yeah, I don't... I'm gonna have to think about that. I don't... Uh, I mean, they just kept bringing more and more. Maybe there was a certain amount though. Maybe I had to wait for it, but if the dam almost broke, if the dam's close to- and I don't want to fixate on that, I know sometimes I get obsessed with the, the timing on it. Um... The dam's pretty close to breaking, then... I'm just wondering... Go this way. It's not like I could wait any longer. Did I need to walk- I was walking in darkness, right? But they had lights in there, so they could see me no matter what. 
Maybe you have to like juke around them. Like slide to the left, slide to the right. Okay, so first things first, we need to enter the dream state, blow out the lights, then get out into the real world. Swim, swim. Find our second piece. Oh, but you know what? I think I'm gonna run out of time either way, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Dream state first. Yeah, because the uh, the tower's actually halfway, still suspended for a little bit. All right, zoom out here. Yeah. <sighs> I hate home. That's the most annoying part about it is when you have to do the little jump. I'll have to figure out what's going on here first, but I need to be able to see the burn slide. Oh, I think I saw a green light down there. Do you think that's a person? Or no, that's the sign that says do not go there. That's right. Hmm. Dam breaking? I don't want to have to do everything before the dam breaks. That make for such a boring... I'll be fine. The screeching must be... <gasps> Interesting thought. Do you think the screeching is when they get killed? Like, do you think... Yeah, look, this just kind of tilted. Do you think the screeching is when the water covers the bodies of the first temple? And maybe that's the screaming of them dying? Like, they truly have gone? this fast wait a minute I just realized I don't have to do this part because I already have the code this isn't what I need to do oh I'm sorry for wasting y'all's time oh <laughs> this isn't the part that I need to do I can still do the part I need to do I actually need to get out of the dream state and actually just get out of the dream state. This isn't the part. <gasps> I'm so goofy. We already had the code. The whole point of going back to this would have been to do the code and that doesn't matter. We just need to get over to, need to get to those guys over there. Actually, this will proper do. Nice. Let's go. Onward. But I gotta go back this way, go back this way, hold on. Yes, 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 yes. Don't mind the tree. Yeah. I technically know where the secret is, but I still wanna have that unlocked on the ship's log. Watch out. Okay, that's not nice. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, it's gonna, oh my, don't, don't you dare. Oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's gonna mess me up, it's gonna mess me up. It's pushing me along, no, I need to go over there. Get off of me, Brit. <laughs> Get off. We're officially one piece, oh my gosh. <laughs> that damn bridge. <laughs> I'm coming in hot. Oh, oh. Get me out, 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 get me out. <laughs> oh, I think it was the bridge that screwed me over again. <laughs> oh, I can't say that this DLC is not fun in its own way. Terrifying, but fun. I'm all sniffles. The past few weeks have been really bad. Oh. I need to refuel. And go. We should be fine. I'm not going to rush it. I actually don't think we need to even have this. I'm going to drop the artifact. And we need the scout launcher. 
through the cave. I think it's uh, keep left side. Keep the left side, go this way. All right, and all we have to do I'm wondering how... I wonder if people find the secrets without knowing that there's secrets there. Oh, this is awkward. Hold on. Put that away. Hmm? Now, there is one element about this that makes this doable. Let's see if I remember. Wait, can I remember without having to go back to my phone? I think it ended with eclipses, and then it was like their home world, maybe? Was it their home world? Oh, and then Star Star? Wild. Nice. Uh, so I'm just gonna set it down on all of them until we see the ship log. And we got the piece from here. Okay, that one. That looked like, no, this one I knew we had. It was this middle one. Yep, there it is. Okay. Behind? How the heck am I supposed to get behind those? You've gotta be kidding me. Okay. And then I'm just gonna set it down here. That one's the one we got. Let's go back and see. Because can we look at this one? We might be able to access this one. I'll try to get to it with the time that we have. The building. Is that before it collapses? <gasps> That's the building we're in. Well, not in, but uh, yes. Yes. Essentially, yes. I know we're build uh, we're I know we're building. I know which building, I think. I think. I think we can uncover this secret, too. Go this way. Yes. I don't know if we're gonna need a light for it, but it's a hundred percent right there. But how the heck would you get into it though? Hmm. It's here, apparently. Let me get back up here. Oh, wouldn't it just be this? Would I not just go down one? Or does this take me all the way down? This is gonna take me beyond where I need to go down. Oh, yeah, this takes me a little bit beyond. Cause now we're down here, but we need to be up there. You can't get in through the bottom. You can absolutely get in from up there. But, ah! get me out of this water right now. Oh my gosh. Ah, there was a hole. I'm gonna try to do this. We're gonna have to use fuel and go back and forth and back and forth, I think. We'll try it. Mm -mm. I could have probably flown. No, I don't think you could have flown back up there. Okay, let's go this way. Wait, there's a fuel. Um, is there a fuel tank here? Uh, music's queuing. I, I can't believe it took me this long to figure that out. I, I still am just, I, <laughs> I still am just amazed. I'm gonna make the most of this day though and try. I thought there was fuel. I cannot believe. I think, did I not mention that at some point in the base game? This is like this realization. I think it just finally clicked. The more time you spend in the game, you're like, oh, I love the music. Oh no, I don't want the music, no. I hate the music. <laughs> I think we got it. Well, I don't wanna rush getting the slide, but if I can at least figure out how to get to it, we can do it next time. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. The fact that it went down. But hold on. I, wow, happy accidents. Oh. 
I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it, but that's okay. That's okay. Thank you. Oh. Oh, actually, I hadn't thought about that. Let me drop this, place this in his hands. Lantern does not fit. Oh, this is actually, okay. So, you know what? Oh, wait, no, we can just use Scout. Okay. I'm just guessing, just launching. Oh no! <laughs> oh! <laughs> but we have all the secret locations and I am I will take it, I'm happy. I just want all the secret locations. That, oh! The, the best part is when you start seeing the light bulbs go off. Like you start realizing you're, you're understanding some of it, you're, you're progressing. I, I think that's why I truthfully love games so much is I'm addicted to feeling like I'm making progress on things. Ah! By the way, I'm making this new, so I have these, uh, well, I think it's in my, I think it's in my banner on YouTube, but I have these, this screen where it's me on top of a bunch of these, um, usually like a villain from a game of some sort, and it's kind of just small little pieces from every single game. And you, I'm, wor I'm working on a new starting soon screen with my artist, and uh, you bet your bottom dollar I told him to add the anglerfish. That anglerfish is making the cut, that's for sure. There it is, we're just gonna have to grab it. Ah! A room full of burned slide reels piled next to a strange device. There's more to explore here. A projection that seems to reveal a secret location somewhere within the stranger, and then secret location number two, um, a map I found in the abandoned temple revealed a secret location. Oh, this is good to know. Wait, um, uh, mm. burn slide real. It says there's more to explore here. Hold on. Several slides have been burned down and cannot be viewed. I think that this is unfinished because I'm, you know what? I maybe didn't finish reading. Maybe I didn't go through the reel all the way because look at this one. This one's completed because it says several slides have been burned down and can't be viewed. So this is showing orange because of that. Well, it looks like we need to go back to the Cinder Isles anyway. So we need to go Cinder Isles. We need to uncover the two secret locations so we know what to do in the dream state. And then we conquer the dream states. And we figure out what the summoning thing is at the top of the tower. Okay, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. We've got a lot to do, so buckle up y'all. We're gonna work on getting the map projections and then making the most of the dream states. Map projections. Uh, let me finish this burned slide reel. Yeah. Okay, let me get to the starting soon screen so it pauses or just like right here and I'll be right back. Wow, going a little forward, sprinting at it. All right, we are going to go after two, and we need to get that burn slide. So let's go Cinder Isles and try to find this guy. But I don't even know what to do with that. That's like on the, all right. I'm wondering if you have to swim. Maybe it's kind of like the cave down here where you have to swim to get to it. But it almost looks like it's up higher. And then we know how to get to three. So we're gonna skip past the whole first area. So skip past front area. Beeline straight for the second. We'll try to look for the reels first too. Do, 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 do. I'm wondering if there's a specific ending to this to this area. Like when will I know? Like will I trigger something that will trigger the ending? Surely. Ah! Stuck the landing. Still refusing to do autopilot landings. I just <laughs> sending it. 
like a good challenge? Do I need to grab... No, I don't think I need an artifact. Oh. Raps always betray me. I guess I should have known that you would be able to go through the dream state even when... Or, like, you'd be able to go from area to area because you're still having the water. Like, you're still in the same planet structure. It's not a planet. It's a... I guess it's kind of like the vessel, if you think about it. It's their version of the vessel. Wait! What about over here? Wait, can I go over here? No! 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 Oh, my worst nightmare. Oh! Oh. Rapids! Oh! I can't even see up. That was not the best. There. I bet you it's right there. I need to get to a... Wow. I'm really changing my tune on the whole water thing. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, not my best idea. It should be on the other side of that. Hmm. Okay, right, I'm gonna run up here. I'm not gonna be able to survive a fall. Let's refuel. And we're gonna find the... We need the scrolls. And we need to wait until we see ship log updated. And then we're looking for a secret. I actually need to grab one of these lanterns to be able to see the scroll to begin with. Yoink. See, I think it's right there. I think based off of the area, it should be... Maybe it's up high like that? How would you get up there? Hmm. Hmm. See, I would think you would take the boat right there and you'd be able to fly up onto that. There's two scrolls here. One of these scrolls is doing, is leaving it undiscovered. So let's put this up here. I thought I did go back and see all these though. There might be three scrolls in this area. This one, go back through. All right. They see the eye. He holds it up. He scans. It turns red and then he's yeah so they are now okay so maybe this is their way of avoiding this as well so they're just trying to do their best as well before in their previous solar system did they know their solar system was dying and so they had to go and find this but I think what he saw was the destruction of the solar system and that they would waste away so they tried to create something so yeah so they freak out and oh. Oh. And then they turn. Oh! Okay, this must be the one I never finished. I must have stopped right here. I think I stopped when he screamed. Because I. Because this looks just the same. This looks like the very first one. They get sad. He realizes. So this is what happened. So they realize the solar system's gonna die, they're gonna lose everything. And then they, it kind of corrupts them or it makes them feel like they need to escape death. And so they go to the eye of the universe, that which they thought, they came to the solar system all because they wanted to seek this out and seek out this knowledge. And then they realize that it's going to be the reason for their whole destruction. <gasps> so they burn the structure. They burn the temple. And they construct this vessel of some sort, or it's not a vessel, um, I keep forgetting exactly what it's called. So they construct that, hoping to avoid dying, but they never expected the breach in the hole. So they, would they have survived the destruction of it? So the stranger comes in, 
and they use it to create an eclipse on the sun. And then maybe the eclipse is the whole reason of why they're trying to avoid... Maybe is that how they would get... Is that how they would avoid being destroyed? During a supernova? I don't know. I don't know how that, I don't know how that works. But... See, I got confused because I saw this right here. Yeah, and then when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is a long slide too. I thought that looked so similar. Yeah, they get mad. They get angry. They're like, I, we came here because we maybe worshipped isn't the right word, but they idolized this thing that they thought was going to be the future or progression or... I don't know. They thought it stood for something. So then they escape into this eclipse, but they never expected the breach in the hole. But, yep, there it is. That's, that must be the update. Let me go double check the other one too, because now I'm thinking, I think I might have rushed these. I'm wondering what caused the breach in the hole? Did we see? We just see that there's a breach in the hole. We're not told what caused it. But if they hadn't had this breach in the hole, then they would have survived. And then now they're stuck in a loop because of what the Nomai did with the looping and the warp and interesting. So it's possible that we might be able to not save them. I mean, that's why we hear the screams when they're being taken out. So we saw this. This is the chaining of the second one. And that is, yeah, chaining of the second one. Okay, so I've seen all of that. Ugh. Crazy. That's just water right there. According to the ship, it, it definitely is up and over on like the other side. There's nothing here. Hmm. There's no way for me to get up there. The other side of me would say to finesse it that way, but I'm wondering if I could go from top to top and then fly over without dying. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh. Can I fly up out of that? No, it wouldn't enable, like, I wouldn't be able to. Oh, maybe? No, because I'll keep falling down. I'm wondering. I know this is brazen for me. Ah! Whoa. Okay, that worked. But what's up here? That, no, those are just plants, roots. Hmm. I've never been up here. I always looked at this stuff and I was like, oh, that'd be so cool. But I just never thought you could actually ah, make it up here. Hmm. I don't know if it's gonna be the same thing. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. This is, oh, breach. Breacher, bre breacher. I don't know what this is. This looks like it though. We saw that little lake, so it should be up here. Yeah, it's... Okay, now it's starting to... Hmm. Okay, I made it up here. It should be on this side somewhere, the secret. Burned slides. Is that a... There's surely nothing in the water. There must be something in the water. Can you get all the way up here? Like, is it even possible? I mean, certain rocks you, you slide down no matter what. I bet you have to get all the way up there. Ah! That's not good. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I don't know if this is right. I'm running out of fuel. Um, let me see down here. No. I was thinking you'd have to like swim up somewhere maybe? I think you can get back up here without having to waste fuel. Nope.
I'm hearing the lapping of water as if it's like hitting a cave or something. Or what we hear when we, like when it encounters a dock. Oi. Oi. He shot me, oi. Maybe I can climb up the tree. No. Just wasting fuel at this point. I don't know. Maybe we can get up the sharper side. Nope, this is gonna have me fall down. It must be... Okay, I'm gonna go in the water. I'm going in the water. I'm terrified, but I'm doing it. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. They knew exactly what they were doing. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. This was it? Who's making a house over here? Burned reels, I'm gonna have to get it back. Wait a minute. There's a path out, there has to be a path out. Burned rail. But, hold on. This door is gonna close, what's my way out before I pick it up? Do I need to, oh no, do I need to place a reel? I think some of these, I'm wondering if some of the, oh, wait. What if you have to bring a reel and replace this one? Cause that's what I thought I was gonna have to do in the other one. Oh, nope, there's a way out in the water right there. All right, pick it. Mm. Door's closed. I have to swim through the water, I hate this. Oh, there's the bridge, the broken bridge. Okay, hopefully this takes us back out to where we were. Oh, I don't like these sections. Oh! Is this the projection room? I never, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. So anywhere we've seen those, there's gotta be like some kind of secret place. This is amazing. This game is so well thought out. Okay. Here we go. The three. Mm -hmm. I'm not even shocked anymore with the surprises. I'm like, they want you not to go in the water all the time, but I think they do make you have to kind of like face that fear. Okay. Mm. Have I seen this? Okay, this is how we might get past. All right, so this is the second one. He has it. He turns around. That's one of the burned buildings. He hops on a boat. The I remember this. Okay, going back over. Hold on. We got to this burned village. Yes, this burned thing on the side of the village. Yes, so you can see it from that perspective. He gets on the boat, goes across... grabs, passes it off, and then that guy goes over there, and then this guy goes... <gasps> there it is. Which brings him... And then... Darkness, and then you can pass through! <gasps> okay. That's huge! I, yeah, I would have never come up on that on my own. You know, you would never, you would have to find these secrets. How would you know to look when you're going across that? Oh my gosh. This game is so good. And I also like, I think it's remarkable that it doesn't hold your hand, but also it doesn't make it feel like impossible for you to find things. I gotta go refuel. It doesn't make it impossible for you to feel like you can find things on your, on your own. Like I am not a genius or anywhere close, but I, like I would say that when it comes to games, my, my thought process is very different and sometimes wildly like horrible or horrendous, but yet I'm still able to get to these conclusions. So it, that's gotta be another aspect of games that's just really difficult to do, is make it accessible to a mass majority of people intellectually, you know? Like you have to think that it's gonna be pretty like, all right, we place this point here. Logically, hopefully they can come to the conclusion that they need to go to this building next and then they need to uncover this thing next. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a simple task to make it, I don't know, just hit a wide audience. Get back, get back, get back. I gotta full, I gotta hit both of them. 
Like, cause I would say my my critical thinking spells have skills have been non-existent during this playthrough. <laughs> but I think my amazement towards everything has just been kind of clouding my judgment. I think I'm just like wide-eyed and excited by everything I see, and it feels like magic and I wish I knew how to describe it too because I think that it's a lot different it's easier when you're just thinking about something and then proceeding to do it and it feels very different when you're having to explain your thought process or how you're getting to the next point to the next point I speak a lot I think a lot of my videos are kind of me verbally letting you guys know my thought process or how I got here as well because we gotta go because it's really not it's it'd be so easy to look half of these things up and I think nowadays I I, I see this all the time like I'm not a stranger to you know people thinking that I look things up in videos or things like that and that's why I try so much to verbalize my process or how I get from point A to point B because while well, yes it's super easy and you know what it's going to be the argument for forever whether people th think that I get there on my own accord or not like if they want to take that from me that's fine I mean I'm I know that I haven't looked anything up right like I know for all my playthroughs I try to keep it organic or I'm straight up with you guys I don't know why I'm going on this tangent right now, but I guess I was thinking about it because it's just like school nowadays. School, you can look up all the answers for everything. Like studying isn't the same, but I remember like the best things, like just, I think this is a principle for life is it's like the best things feel 10 times better when you do it by your own intelligence and you're not just shortcutting it and I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to look up or have this ease of access for us like nowadays you can look up anything you need to with the game which I think is amazing and I like that but my it's the same reason why I hate when people spoil it's the same reason why I don't want to look at comments because for this playthrough because I don't want that like when it clicks and you get it and you find out a solution or maybe you find it out a different way than how other people have done it I don't want that to be robbed from me. I think we all get one organic first playthrough with any game that you play for the first time. And let me send him down. Oh, I can't. You get like one good go at a game. And then after that, you'll never look at it the same way. You'll never, like there's this innocence in every first playthrough and it's not gonna be perfect. Like sometimes I feel like people click on a first playthrough expecting a perfect playthrough and those two are never gonna be synonymous. Like it, it's impossible. Like my playthrough is absolutely flawed by my own bias, by my own way of thinking, by my own foolishness and sometimes short-sightedness and just all of my attributes or things I talk about a lot where your playthroughs are often impacted by things that you go through in your life especially if it's like a well, a story like a story heavy game or something like that I, I always love games I think I feel the most attached to games that are family oriented because I am very family oriented just by wait did I go over here I don't think I ever went up here either by the way but I'll grab it first um yeah, I just, I think I started kind of talking about this because I just want to get it across that I, sometimes I'm, my playthroughs include me talking a lot or maybe it feels like I'm, you know, verbalizing too much or doing a lot of, a lot of it is rhetorical questions as well because I'm just, oh, I need to be able to see when this opens actually. Because um, I just want you guys to see how I get from point A to B. And it's not, sometimes I get into point A and B totally different than how you do, and I hope it's different. I hope it somehow shows you that maybe doing it one particular way isn't always the only way. I look at it as like a first playthrough, but also a different perspective playthrough. Like you guys get to see the game through my eyes, which I'm gonna look at things so vastly different from any other creator also. You know, like, just like if you guys were to do your own playthrough or if you have, it's gonna be different. And I think to kind of summarize, where are, where am I? Uh, I missed this, yeah. Wait a minute. There's four. I now have four. 
Have I looked at all? No, I have three discs. Let me make sure I look through all of these discs before we get summoned. But, um... What's happening? Oh, it thinks that I have a disc in. I just... Uh... I... I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. Wait, I need a green light, which is down here. I lost it. That whole point. <laughs> oh... I'll get it back here in like 10 minutes. I'm just kind of rambling as I do this. All right. Mm. I need you. Thank you. Perfect. But anyways, as I said as a kid, but I digest. No, I'm just kidding. I digress. <laughs> there were two things that I always said as a kid. I always called it Walmart instead of Walmart. and. I used to say, but I digest. Oh, I'll never stop saying it now. Okay, this is the new one, but I do want to go check out the other two because no, they should have been they should have been accessible, but I might have not. Okay, this is the three pronged one. So this is what we need to do to unlock the next part here. So we pass off. The music. I remember this. He goes past the music. He... No. Leap of faith? Oh, because you know that there's two across from each other. But that's how we got there. Oh, wow. And then you see... You put the lights out in the house. And now he's able to travel... Wait a minute. Hold on. He hands it off to here. This guy in the music, this guy hands it off. He goes across here, walks directly across, puts out the lights in the building, and then that guy walks across and takes it somewhere. Let me just ensure that I did these. Interesting. Let's try to do this one if we have the time before we get reset for the day. And then I think we know what we need to do in each of the dream states. And it's just a question of um, what we do after. Like after we figure out what the next step is. He does this, he lights it, and the third one gets put. And that's that. Okay, so we did see that one. Let me just double check. Now I'm, I'm all of a sudden like very self-conscious that I didn't. This is one of the burden slides. Like, I feel like I removed it. These have to intentionally be here. Like, don't you think that they possibly thought that somebody would come along and release them from their trap? Like, this this kind of prison that they've locked themselves in? Is that why they kept such select things um, burned out, but still kept a couple? Like, retained a few? This is, oh yeah, this is the one where they get sad and they miss home. They want to return home one day. I did, look. I don't, no, 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 we did see this. And then they go in and they go to sleep. They go big sleep. This is why I was like, okay, possibly doze off. Big sleeps. Oh. All right, let me grab the artifact. Oh, yeah, I'm getting pretty close on health wise. So this one, let's go ahead and just try this. We might as well, because we know that the music's going to cue soon. So we might as well try. Oh, it's illuminating it still a little too much. You have to do it over here where it's in the recess. And yeah, there. This is one of the ones that there aren't any, um, there aren't any of them, so we should be fine. I think we're fine. We should be able to navigate fairly easy. So, let's start by... Uh, do we want to start by putting out all the lights on the house? 
Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna start by doing that. Okay. The first ones just died. Wait. Is that the second ones? Yes, that means the build the second building has finally collapsed. Cause the dam had already broken. Yeah. They they just the second building collapsed. But does this one we've never actually seen the fall of these? Yeah, they just all died. Well, they just all drowned, actually. Or I guess if they've been in the dream state this long, did they just completely... I don't know how that really works. <clears throat> we also... I think we got zapped before I even figured out everything that was happening here. Like in this area. <gasps> That's one of those. So when the lights go out, that will open. It will open completely new paths. Yes. Okay, so... This is where we need to be. We need to illuminate these, and that's illuminated. You ready? I hate this. Little Indiana Jones. Okay, now, extinguish. But I can't... Am I going back this way? Oh! There's a cave. Unless... Am I supposed to leap a faith it again? I think you're supposed to leap a faith it. But let me see over here. I haven't seen this cave before. We want to explore everything we possibly can. Wait, what? Whoa! <gasps> we just came back through that. I can't illuminate. This house is only lit by... Oh, no! I actually was so uh, wrapped up in that. I didn't even hear the music playing. I didn't hear the music. Oh! All right, but we've explored all the secrets now. All that's left is to follow what they're telling us to do. I think we should still start with the, the river lowlands because we know we need to get through the fire. Is there not a secret to tell us what we're supposed to do? Oh, it, it wouldn't be. Yeah, because when we're down, when we're underneath the, let me go up here real quick. When we're underneath, not the artifact, but you know what I'm talking about. When we're underneath that, that's the whole point is we have to do all three of the other ones. I'm wondering if you have to do them one after another after another and successfully then get to the final building. You probably do. You have to probably do them in one swoop. Oh man, secret mural, secret wall. The secret wall. Wait, I need to rewatch that. Several slides have been burned out and cannot be viewed, and that's why I couldn't view this burn slide. Slide burning room, a room full of burned slide reels piled next to a strange device. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed uh, to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished, and the figure carries a container down into the dark well. The sealed vault. I found a hidden slide reel that container marked with a glowing symbol that's interesting. Yeah, container into the secret. Okay, um, the glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished and the figure carries the container into a secret passage behind a mural of large trees. That I need to rewatch, hold on. Cause that's what I'm not, I do kind of want to do this last one. Cause I like, I like the ones that they don't have the scary guys in. So he goes across here. I reckon you could all do them in one single day. And that's probably what you have to do to finish the whole DLC. So you put the lights out. Now this guy, we have to find that mural while it's lit first, and then we know where to go. That's what it is. Secret mural. Mmm. Uh. 
The reel I found in the slide burning room shows a container marked with a glowing symbol. Being uh, handed to a shadowy figure, the lights are extinguished and the figure carries the container into a secret passage behind a mural of a large tree. There's more to explore in the endless can uh, canyon. Okay, we don't have that for the other stuff. So if you notice here, Shrouded Woodlands is fully explored, River Lowlands is fully explored. So I actually still need to find some stuff in the Endless Canyon because I think I got zapped before that, so that's why there's still more to discover there. The reel I found in the slide burning room shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished and the figure carries the container down a dark well. Yeah, I wanted to see this again. Yeah, no, 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 we know the dark well. We know the dark well. That one, that one makes so much sense. So, oh, and this, 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 in the reservoir. Nearly all the slides have been burned out and can't be viewed. I'm missing something. I'm missing one. Okay. So there's two little things we have to clean up here just to make everything ready for, I think, the next stage, which is getting into these hidden spots. So I'm a goofball. And once again, I never finished this burning reel either in the reservoir. The reservoir was that whole first area. Before the river, oh, 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 I know where the reservoir is. Okay, yes, 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 we need to, uh, oh, actually, I think we can get there. I think I can get there, oh, sorry, I'm doing a lot of O's. Um, yeah, I think we can get there fairly easily. And then we need to finish exploring the Endless Canyon. I gotta run to the bathroom again. Uh, okay, that's gonna set us up to fully be prepared to go into the dream state and just do Seeker Mural secret fireplace secret wall and then the sealed vault which should take us into the next area so i'm gonna run to the bathroom we're gonna come back clean up those last two and need to explore a little bit more areas that i just missed the first go around and then i think that's gonna put us into a really good spot i'm gonna have to see how much time i might just make this a long video i i, I feel like i might as well just make this a long video all right i will be back all right so next day but I remember exactly what we have to do. We got to finish up those two pieces. <sighs> That's your girl. First. <laughs> Classic move. I think I found everything. And in fact, I've not found enough. Okay, so just so we're all tracking. Well, I also need to put the HUD on this. Here we go. Okay, so we need to make it back to the reservoir. Grab this one burn slide so we can watch the rest of that. And then the Endless Canyon, we are not done exploring, so. Oh, how do I want to do this? Hmm. To get back to the, I mean, I could get to the Endless Canyon easily. There is a projection room in the reservoir, so. Let's go canyon first, and then hopefully I can, like, swoop over to the reservoir after. It's the buildings to the left of the... Uh, the structure, the submerged structure. Sealed vault, thank you. I keep wanting to call it an artifact, but yes, it's to the left of the, or I guess adjacent. No, no, opposite. It's opposite of the. I'm coming. Okay, we clean up these little pieces. And then, like I said, we're gonna slowly start checking off each of those dream states. I'm predicting that you have to do all three of them at the same time in order to successfully unlock the vault. Which means I'm going to have to know exactly what to do to get past each area because each of them have their own struggles. Mm. You know, we might be able to do something here. I'm wondering, actually, I'm going to switch gears and we're going to try to not crash. Uh, I'm going to try to get to the reservoir first because I have an idea. Okay, grab this. Okay, so let's go up our super secret passage over here to the left side. Which, this is still going to come in handy somehow. Like, I, there has to be a reason why this is here. Other than a, oh, other than a quick exit. You know, I never thought to look at the other side too. I'm wondering if the, did I ever check to see if the other side has one? 
but either way, this will take us up to the bridge or the dam. We cross the dam, we grab the reservoir, then we come back around here and then we'll go. I just don't want to have to make two trips. I'm going to try to avoid making two trips here. Oh, look at like even that. Oh, usually once I, I feel like the first day that I get somewhere new, I'm fully taking in the architecture and the small little details. But then I get task oriented and I kind of stop focusing on it, but there's some really cool things to look at here. Right. I think I should just be able to, I'm actually going to use my fuel because we can just refuel it when we get back to the ship. So we're going to go this way. And there's out. There is not a secret. I don't think there's a secret passage over here. We've uncovered all three secrets. Mm. Yes, because this is where we got. Yeah, this is where we had that thing, but we just need to go up and over here. Wait, let me make sure that there's no, no more discs down here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just see. Oh, there I am. That's me. Yeah, I don't think that there's any more. I know there's the door there. I don't think there's any more uh, reels in here. <clears throat> Pretty rotted out. That should wait. Okay, I think the rail's supposed to be over there, but it maybe you have to wait till after the dam breaks for the water to lower. It's possible. I'll leave this here. All right, we have this in. Now we just need to find the reel. What was that reel, and where did I do? Oh. Oh. Okay, no. I think it was after the dam broke. It should be... Oh, no, it might be right on the other side of this. See, I thought it was down there. Yeah. Though, I'm guessing I could probably die for it right now. The question is, can I get back up? Yeah, I think I could go over there. Oh gosh. Don't love it, don't love it, don't love it, don't love it, don't love it. Don't love it, don't love it, don't love it. It's funny, there's, there's certain things that I feel like make me more scared of the water than other moments. Like the shallower it is, obviously the less scared I'm gonna be, but when it's, I don't know, it's so, it's thick here, you know? All right, what do I have my scout launcher? Okay, so this tells us more about the vault, but this is the one that we didn't see everything, so burn slide. And so I must have assumed that it didn't have anything else. So I kept flipping burn slides. We can see them gathering for something. He comes forward. Yep, there, yep. Okay, so they've locked everything away. They build a structure around it to completely submerge it. And then they walk away. And then more is happening and then we're back at the beginning, but I'm just gonna flip through it, double, triple check. Can never be too careful. Yep. So they built around it and then did that. Ship log updated. There we go. All right, one done. So now we just need to get back to... We need to get back to the ship and ride the dam down. Unless... No, no, the current would... There's no way I could work my way. Um, opposite of the current, but... I'm gonna have to... F oh. Oh. Okay. We're gonna be swimming for a little bit. I hate it because the submerged thing's scary. The submerged thing's scary. Ah! 
Get me out, get me out, get me out. <clears throat> this is like where it's the deepest. Of course I'm not gonna wanna be here. Beam me up. All right, now we ride this thing back. I don't even have to get back in the ship. I can just ride it around. We've never done this. I like it. So we're gonna be in the canyon until we see ship log updated. And that should show us when we fully explored that too. It's kind of fun. You gotta do this at least once, you know? All right, let's go right side. We haven't, there it is. All right, now we just had a whole breach. I still wish I could figure out the dialect. I'm afraid I might get through the entire playthrough and not have found how to translate or how to, although if I just kept doing it, I see, I don't think if I went back to, maybe I can try to talk to somebody at home. This way. Oh, the rapids. I actually love whitewater rafting. I've been trying to go over to West Virginia for the gorge rapids. Oh, let's actually go this way. Make it a little easier on ourselves. Yeah, so that bridge hole happens at around eight, nine minutes into our 20 minute interval, according to the recording time. So around halfway point, we get a little bit more time. Pull right, pull right, pull right, pull right. Okay. Not good, not good. <laughs> So I think it's the main building that I'm missing. Also, I do want to know what's over there. Do you see that? It's something, but I, I think that's... Is that not the rapids that fall? Like, you know when... Um, is that not where the ship falls? There might be something there. There just might be. But I think what we're missing is in the main hub. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Now I'm trying to think, am I missing something in the Endless... The Endless Canyon, is that the nighttime or is that the daytime version? Ooh. No, I think Endless Canyon is the daytime. So that means there's something I'm missing during this, which is that, mm. Okay, that's weird. This whole time I was thinking it was the house, because we never explored the night house. But I've explored nearly everything here. Or at least I, I thought I had. Huh. Like I... Um... <clears throat> Maybe not. No, that opens from the inside. We went down here. This we know. And then that has you fall down. Hmm. This is the laboratory. I am pretty sure we explored nearly everything in the laboratory. Endless cannon. Canyon. You, sir. Tell me what you know. I wonder if it has something to do with that little structure down below us. And if so, we're gonna wanna get to it before the dam breaks because then it's gonna be covered. Mm. Cause we just have this over here. Then we have our projection room, which I know we explored our projection room fully. Could possibly be the middle building because there is so much going on there. We know that that's where we get the artifacts from, but have we even ever seen an artifact there? I think up to this point, I mostly have only gotten, hmm. I feel like I've mostly only ever gotten artifacts from that front room. 
Did we even see artifacts over there? Hmm. I know I went that way. I think we've explored all of that. This was where we saw... Well, this is just a home. But I can go back over here. But that, I believe, is just a home. Unless there's, like, another... Let me open this up. There's something down below. That! I bet you that's it. There is a... Okay, so I have to figure out how to open this because there is a reel on that. So that might be exactly where I need to go. There's a reel down there, but how do I even get... Oh, is that the door? Hold on. That's me. Something there at nighttime. It's almost like a private nappy place. Maybe that's their beds. You know, I never thought about it, but... We have to open that door if we want to be able to get in. Mm. But it's acting like there isn't even a door there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's where the door is? That's the door. Okay. Oh! Because I think I was here. I want to say I was here before... I realized how to use the light to open our path. I think this is a new scroll. Mm. Explore the whole area. No, I don't think so because I vaguely remember that nappy. Like the, the bed, I, I, oh gosh. The bed I feel like I remember. Look, yes, this is the breach hole. This was the breach. Yeah. So this is it too. I'm just still gonna use the reel all the way through. Because there's only a cup. Damn, broke. Damn. I need to get across before it breaks. Need to grab a green light. Hmm. Grab lantern. Actually, I've never seen the water flow through here. I don't know if I really want to stick around and find out. Here, we'll watch from here. Safe, 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 safe. Mm. Dam breaks at about 15 minutes. Just snapped those. Absolutely snapped them like little turkey legs. Okay. This is the uh, breach, but I think this one was fully explored. Yeah. It's interesting, though, because I don't feel like we ever find out what caused it. But that's it. That music almost reminded me of Little Nightmares. The... Mm -hmm. I wonder if it has something to do with the little, the little hole over there. Because at this rate, there's not a whole lot that I haven't done. However, I think that this would be... If that is the case, then I'm wondering if you can't access that after the dam breaks. Let me go down and look at it. Let me, let me look. It is kind of like a cave of some sort, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to go in there. I really don't want to go in there. But I'm also thinking, what if you have to wait for the dam to break? I really don't want to go in there. Do, would I rather go in the dream state or would I rather go down here and figure this out? I hate it, 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 I hate it. Yes. No, this is just where you get dropped. No! No! Okay, I need to, I, I'm gonna get carried all the way. I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. Move against the current. I sometimes wish. Oh my gosh. Get me up, 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 get me up. What if it's like something where you have to go under, 
Like after it collapses, maybe there's something to do with the collapse. It's like, oh, can we, like I'm wondering, like can we enter areas that we couldn't enter before? Like this house falls, what is this house? This house we've been in all the time, right? I'm like, okay, maybe, I'm grasping at straws now, but, and I'm also having to brave areas that I don't like, but. I don't think this is the answer. No, I don't think this is the answer. Absolutely grasping at straws. Okay, let's go dream state just to make the most of the day. And, uh, I've got to find fuel too. There's something else in the canyons. I've been in that whole building. In this building, we went in to find the real there. Unless maybe there's something. Mm. I'm gonna try one more place. Yeah, but I don't think, I mean, where my brain's going is what if it's like that lower section of that tower? Could it be related to the flip side? Or could it be on the other side of the canyon? Or this whole, this whole thing is the endless canyon. It does say it's endless. I'm going dream state because I want to go find that image so we know exactly where to head to. Oh gosh, that scared me. Uh, we don't need fuel, so I'm actually going to leave it as is. Mm. Okay. Sometimes I feel like certain days I'm a little bit more jumpy than usual. And it's feeling like one of those days. Right, we have to doze off for the slightest of seconds because it's already been 20 minutes, so we're going to have very limited time to go find this. But I want to make the most. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay, we need to get across, so light. Light my love. Mmm. We need to create our bridge. I love it. I love it. It's so cool to think back to just how I felt when I didn't know any of these mechanics. So whenever there's no, there's all these lights on. We've heard some footsteps. We never went down. I believe we never went down. This is going to create something there. No. It will create a path. It does something from the opposite side. Music's being played. Ah, uh, we're getting... In order for me to go further down, I'm gonna have to create a pathway here. So we need to go on the opposite side, so I need to go down here. That's a door. That's a door. That's a door hidden by light. We zoom across. We go down here. We need to open this. In order to open that and that door. Oh, so many doors. So many doors. Mm, I can't go that way either. Look at that. Wait a minute. There's somebody truly observing right there. There are, they are here. The antler people are here. Yeah, that's a shadow from one that's very much alive. Him playing music, I remember that vaguely. Mm -hmm. It's where we came from. Going up here, what do we have? Nothing. More doors, so many doors. The second ones have been killed, or the first ones? The first ones, no, 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 the first ones would scream when the dam gets broken. That's the second set. 
Wait a minute. Oh, dang it. I worked backwards. I shouldn't have catched the eye. This is going to be so confusing. Do you think I'm going to have to light this? Am I going to have to figure this out when all the lights are off? Oh, no. When all the lights are off, all these doors would be open. Oh. <gasps> All these doors will be open, which means that they'll be hunting. Well, hunting, but you know what I mean. Oh, wait, maybe I thought it was him, but maybe it's the chair. No, that's 100% him. That is not just a chair. He's down there. Nothing here. Yeah, I think this might be the music that's playing for when we go down. We might not be able to progress any further until you have the lights all turned off. Look at this, yeah. It's gonna happen, I'm getting zapped here soon. 23 minutes, yeah. Any second now. Okay, so we have to make our way over here in order to light the door, or well, create a path. Huh. So I'm assuming that we're going to have to evade. So we're going to have to light this. And then uh, thankfully we have a pretty straight path across. So we go down here. This must be like their dining hall or something. I like this whole area. And then we can zoom across from where's my path. We're going down, down. Here it is. And then we can move across, and I'm going to get zapped as soon as I cross. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Yep. <laughs> there she is. So, the question is... Actually, there's not really a question. I guess, yes, we will have to get into the house, get across, light that path to be able to go further down and go into the secret room. Let's just hope. I'm saying it and then I'm not finishing it because I'm like, in my head, I want to say, let's just hope that they don't make you have to do all three at the same time. I find that to be crazy if they do expect you to do all three back to back to back. Unless maybe I'm just completely missing how to avoid them in certain sections, especially that first section, but I don't know. Oh, gosh, okay. This is going to be a long episode, guys. Buckle up. That was 22 minutes already. Another 22 minutes just zapped away from us. This is truly amazing. Mm. But we did figure out one, right? Yes, yes. This burn slide reel is done. Slide reel that shows a strange vault being encased in a large metal structure and lowered underwater. Which is how we would have known about that. Which is the reservoir. So we're done with that. And then the only other area is here, the Endless Canyon. This is nighttime. That's why. That's why. Okay. That was my mistake. It's not daytime, which is great. That's actually, that's great for us. So let's finish exploring the daytime of, well, the nighttime, but pre-blowing the lights out. And then let's just try to, well... Actually, we could just do Starlight Cove. And we should just do the Shrouded Woodlands, shouldn't we? All right, let's keep going at it. We're at the point right now where we just, I think we just need to start getting in that dream state and making making things happen. So let's get in there. I'm just going to see what happens. We never go cockpit view. What am I doing? Okay, we're going to start with the lowlands and I'm going to figure it out. I think I was on the right strategy of following the guy, putting my light out, following him in. But then I didn't know what to do. <gasps> Wait, you wouldn't have to do all of them. You wouldn't have to do all of them because you just need to know all the symbols. It's not about doing them all in one go. Right, because at the bottom of the vault, you just have to be able to put in all the symbol codes. So all we have to do is successfully do each of them, each... Yes! That takes off a lot of pressure. That takes off so much pressure. 
Nice. Oh, 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 whoop. Oh. I'm here. Yes. This is good. So we just have to figure out how to successfully get each one. Okay, lowlands it is. We know that they are having some kind of celebration and there's a bunch of them there. So, I either have to be as stealthy as possible or... Uh, or... No, because even if I turn all the lights off... Am I missing something that will turn the lights off in that building? Okay, thought. I turn the lights off in the building. In the celebratory building, is it possible to turn the lights off? Hmm. I loved the use of the secrets. I actually think that was really clever. If we could turn the lights off, I could sneak around. Okay, pull this. I feel like this is gonna be my hardest one. Although we haven't really seen the scary stuff yet in the other two, you know? Like we've never run into any of the uh, owl, owl boys. This one we also don't have a ton of time to work with. Before the dam breaks. So it would have to be something like these take. This should be the easiest of them all if you think about it. Okay. We could keep trying to see if we find some way to put the lights out. Like this is extinguishing that. Maybe we need to explore the area near the... Near the elk more. They're definitely more like a... Because of the antlers, they're definitely more like deer or elk than... Owl. Okay, wrong way. This path... Over here... Once we get this down and we can just move without even having to light things, I think. Right, so we did this. So we come up here and we create our pathway across. Light this bad boy. Mm. There we go. Move over here. Reminds me of when you're running on Banjo Kazooie, on the back of Kazooie. <laughs> the do -do 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 -do. right. So we're across. We're across, and they're there. And we have to get into the fire. We see a light. Somebody's guiding a light already. This is just a way. This is actually good to light this because I can see it from the other side. Okay, one guy's going in. Maybe we should just observe or something, I don't know. The door closes after each one goes in, right? Let's watch him go in. Or is the door always open? I was, remember when we were watching it, there were a certain amount of lights that went through. And part of me was wondering, okay, so that was the first guy to cross. What if you have to be the fourth one to come in? You know what I mean? Because there's, wait, I think there's another person? No, that's the light. I'm wondering if the amount of lights makes a difference because there's always, there's the second one. Okay, so that means there should be a third one. Let's try to come in behind the third one. But we just have to find him first. I have to get close enough that I, oh. Okay, hold on. I have to get close enough that I... Okay. Hold on. I have to get close enough that I can follow behind. 
but not that he notices me. But we're gonna have to see if there's more, like if more spawn, you know? Like we'll know if another one spawns, but this technically would be the third guy. But I think I came in behind the third guy anyway. Oh, I thought he was starting to run. I think if I shined my light on him, he would uh, breach in the hole, breach in the hole. I think what we do is maybe we don't even follow him in. We wait to see if a fourth person's coming. This is so cool. So what do you think they're doing in all of these structures? Like, they're doing some kind of music festival? <laughs> Are they they're going into the dream stage to do some music festivals? So this is what we did before. How is it going to be any different? I like his little feet. Look at his little legs. I guess he does kind of have... I can't tell. It's like they have the feathers of a owl. See, I still think we're going to have to turn the lights out to this building. I'm holding the green light. Why can't they just recognize me? Is there another light coming out though? So let's just watch. I think there is. Do you see that? I'm just waiting to see if there's any other lights. There's that guy's waiting there. I, I think there's gonna be another one, but they're gonna see me. Yeah, look, look, look. Yeah, he's coming through the cave. I'm gonna go over here, where he won't see me, maybe. I'm trying to go over here, and hopefully he won't see me. There's another guy coming. Okay, he didn't see. There's another guy coming through too. How many dudes do they got? I saw another one in there. I'm gonna have to sneak in. This is observation duty. Wait, maybe there's not. I thought there was another one, but maybe not. No, 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 yeah, I saw the flickering, yeah, okay. So there's another one, so how? I'll have to put the lights out in the building. That's the only way I could possibly sneak by without them knowing that I'm here. Also, do they just keep doing this until the dam breaks? There's got to be something across the way. I can't see anything though that would turn off the lights in here. The leader's up there. Dude, dude should I just make a run for behind it? Because it's just going to keep playing. Like, nothing's going to change. And there's another one coming, maybe? The dam's going to break, and I'm going to be forced underwater. I see, no. This is so strange. I think we should have dam breaking. I don't think there's any more. I think we would have seen another one by now, right? I 
I can't tell. There's a speck in the distance. Guys, I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. So if that is it, if that's all of their guys in there, we're gonna have to go in. I'm gonna have to go in. You know, nobody else is coming. to go run around in Marta. If I hold the light, do they think I'm one of them? Like when I went in last time, wasn't it was I not concealing my life? I need to do this. We're just burning nighttime. Night light. They're just gonna sit there. Oh, look at the guy up there. He's there, they're there. They're all here. Everybody's here. The dam broke, I gotta run for it. The dam broke. No! Yeah, no, let go of me! <laughs> you don't know me! <laughs> No! Oh, nope, 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 nope. That's the one thing that I will reset. That's so, what? Uh, all right, maybe we come back to this one last. Maybe we try our hands on it for one. I don't get it. How would I be able to blend in? By carrying? But they, when they see the light, they see me. So, and they're just gonna grab me. <gasps> We have to put the light out in the building for them not to see me, except for, well, the door closes when I go in. So if the door closes when I go in, maybe, maybe we can put the lights out. Oh, feel as lost as ever with this one. Shrouded woodlands. Okay, let's go Starlit Cove. I actually liked, ever since we found out the secret for that, I thought that was really cool. Hold on. And I wanted to try it. Mm. I will try your hand at this. Other ways that we could get around that situation. My brain. Um, mm, interesting, huh? River lowlands, burning slides. Whoop, not the burning slides. Let's watch it again. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked. He hands it off, with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The figure follows a procession of lights through a forest to a candlelit building, where they carry the container into a secret passage behind the roaring fireplace. One, two, three, four. Four lights go in. And they walk through. That is what I was thinking, though, was the amount of lights that go through. Oh, I unhudded it. Oh, no. Goofy. Oh, excuse me. Ah! I don't want to have to look anything up, and that's what's going to kill me. Like, I feel like I'm, I feel like this might be the first time that I've met my match, and I'm going to have to. But I'm not giving up this easy. Don't worry. I'm not giving up this easy. I am not. And land. I just feel like this is going to be the hardest. Like these are gonna be some of the hardest parts. I mean, obviously finding stuff is the easy part. It's... <sighs> All right, let's go mid side or the, the middle one. Also, that's gonna be impacted by the... 
I think before you blow the lights out on this building, in the middle one, I need to make sure I have all of the paths possible. Because I'm going to need to know how to get back exactly on time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, I'm going to get my artifact from here. It's just easier. The artifact here is basically on the way. Ghost matter detected. Oh, wait, hold on. Push it. All right, back on the water again. Okay, let's land in the middle one. Have it pick us up. We can do this. The only thing is... I feel like when we blow these lights out, the guys are going to be walking around. Because remember how we heard? We were hearing footsteps, but not seeing something. I wonder if the lights in that entire building were keeping them out. I feel like it's going to absolutely change after this. Okay, drop. Ooh. This has got to be one of the hardest parts of the entire game. Oh, not the marshmallow. Not the marshmallow. <laughs> not the gumdrop buttons. All right, we know what to do. We know what to do. So I'm wondering if I can set this up to have an easier passage. Light my path here. Cause some of these will, like that, it's gonna blow out all the lights for that so that I can get down. But I need to know how to get down there to begin with anyway. Hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself because I don't even know what to do to get there. In here, this is a C. Do you hear the footsteps? I hear the footsteps. Oh yeah. You think that they wouldn't have us be having to work for this? So. So this is the path to, that's, I think that's where I needed to go in order to find the burned out lake. So we're going to have to head there eventually. But first and foremost, oh, we need to figure out how to. Oh, OK, wait, I know how to get down there. I know how to get down there because we go over here. Right, we go over here and then what we do, let's just do a mock. We'll do a, a, a practice. So we go over here. We have to extinguish these flames. And it opens up this pathway and this lit. Then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna take this down. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of this. Then we get brought down here. And then we're gonna have to slowly work our way around. Easy. Easy. Easy work. Uh, extinguish this unless there's any in between, which there's probably going to be. I'm going to leave those out so that that pathway is already open. Wait a minute. How do I get back? Oh, I have to go up. Shoot. Oh, I have to go up over there. That's okay. That's okay. I want some of these to be closed because like, are we hearing footsteps here? No, but I know we hear footsteps from here. It is. Oh, shoot. I need to be up here. See, we hear footsteps here, so we know somebody's going to be here. I'm just going to go back around, all the way around. Yeah. I think we can do this. Breach and hole. Breach and hole. The only thing is I've never gotten to the top sections. 
Like there's more areas to explore. But we might be able to do it without having to. So I'm gonna have to come up here past this. Disrespect. Okay, go beyond it. Get this. Oh. Okay, ready? So it should just slowly do this. All we're looking for... Keep going. There. That's gonna be our hole. There it is, there it is. The eye. The eye. And they call it a mine. A mine. Oh, I didn't do it right. Mm. It's all unnerving. I hate it. I hate it all. <laughs> this is gonna put us somewhere else. I didn't think about that. After we blow this out, so we can blow out this whole town, but then this is going to take us here. So our pathway is going to be completely different because we're going to have to go down here. Oh, but then we can zoom there. Wait, we want to be here? No, 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 no. This is good. This is good. Okay, let's get it done. Like that. And like that. Look. They're starting to move, look. Oh, snap. You've gotta be kidding me, they were waiting to just drop down. Ow. They were waiting to do this. There, okay. We're on the right one. We know vaguely where to go. We can do this, we can do this. How the heck? How the, who, what? Here. This door is now open for me. Okay. Okay. Trying to make sure. <laughs> Can I go around them? Oh, snap. It sees me. I have to move slowly. He's behind me. He's bringing the light. Go, 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 go. No, 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 don't wake me up. Don't wake me up. Don't wake me up. <gasps> he still sees me. Sugar Shacks, is the guy still following me? <sighs> what is it? Oh my gosh. That, even with the, with the full nighttime, that's, that's nightmare fuel. I'm in some kind of building. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <sighs> They're down here with me. They're down here with me. There's one down here with me. There's one down here with me. There's one down. There, there he is. This way, it's gotta be here. It's gotta be one of these. gotta be down here. Oh, shh. Come on. Come on. It's none of these. Is this how I get back up? I have to go further down? I don't know, I didn't open all of them. I probably passed it. I'm so... <laughs> I can always go back up. Look at these. There it is, there it is, there it is. There it is. Oh 
Holy cow. No. Insert artifact. There's so many slides. Remove artifact. Where am I? No. Look at all of these. The scrolls. We need some kind of, it's a, uh, we need a, there's gotta be one. All right, place this. There's a scroll somewhere that I missed in the previous room, I think. Okay, I'm gonna take a deep breath because freaking out's not gonna help and I need to find where this scroll is. Oh, wow. It might show us in one of these specifically. Okay, I'm gonna take a deep breath. I think we're fine. They see this. This is a non-burned out scroll. They scan it. He sees it. He sees the destruction of the solar system. The destruction of them. He freaks out. They console him. They decide to burn this. So they construct something to go scan the eye of the universe. Maybe they scan it for weaknesses? They must be scanning it for weaknesses of some sort. Something like that. We're gonna have to open that up. Yeah, they must be scanning it for weaknesses. No. Wait. I'll be fine for a second. I'll be fine for a little bit. The dam breaking is not at our end. We'll be fine. I need to relax. Okay, this is different. They're sleeping, the flames. It's Sunday. Oh, this is waking them up. It goes from your brain to the f okay. And it zaps them out. Oh. And then they wake back up. So that's why I always thought that was too Oh. But then if the signal isn't if there's an interference in the signal, then they just keep on moving. And they never come out of it. Right? There has to be a clear signal going from the sound to okay but the other guy you can see that they're the left side if they're brain dead or something oh. i guess if they're fully dead they will continue to walk like that i think that's kind of what it's telling me i think we can always look and uh look and dissect later we're gonna get a little bumpy here but we should be fine. We'll be fine for a little bit longer. And I'm gonna push this the whole way. All right, so this is how the brain works with the artifact. So they started testing to see... They could go in, and he started sleeping. And you have this kind of maybe REM state or whatever it is, like constant brave wings, lengths. And then he walks another, oh, it's like an elderly one in. Oh no. And he falls. He's died. They're testing one that was gonna die. And he died within it, but he's able to live on because they were trying to figure out if their bodies died because of the destruction of the solar system, could they still live on on their home planet? They were just trying to be able to survive even Whoa! Wow. Yeah. They just were trying to live on. That's burned out, so I can't do anything there. So, once they figured out if you were to die within this thing, right? Within this flame, this shroud, whatever you want to call it. There has to be, there's a light in here all the time. I have to figure out how to open this next path. Otherwise, we're gonna have to do this all over again, and I didn't like it. Yeah, because I need, oh, I guess maybe you're meant not to get the other scrolls. It's possible. Hmm. Wow. The way that they kind of like slowly give you that knowledge. I think I'm gonna work backwards and I, hmm. Let me see what happens. That just lifts it up. 
and that is not what we need, so we need to bring it back down. I'm gonna have to get on with it, and we're gonna have to keep... I, I think they intentionally wanted to lock it away and hide it somewhere sneaky, so I'm gonna have to look at every single person's... Bring it back down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at every single person's... piece, because that is not it. Those sneaky little... That's... I mean... So I just want to know what they were doing when they were scanning the eye of the universe. There had to be like a specific purpose for that. Okay, so we're back up here. I need to put this out and get upstairs. So we get up here. Oh, he's trying to go after me. Oh, snap. Okay, so if I had to guess, Reduce Frights helps you with those situations. I'm thinking Reduce Frights is 100% why I'm able to even get past some of this. But I just alerted a second guy. He's still following me. He's still following. He's still following. Open all. Open all of them. Open all of them before they come. You sneaky little goblins. Where have you hid this? Oh my gosh. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Ugh. They're so sneaky. They're not here. To make sure I don't run into one of them. They're always looming. It's like one of the few that I didn't unlock, maybe. Okay. This is not working. not any of these. It's got to be one of these. It has to be in here. I'm just missing it because I'm freaking out whenever I see them. I'm breaking free. He's over there. We've opened all of these. We got beyond. That's a middle path. All right. I came down here. I saw all of them. I'm wondering if there's one that I'm missing. It was it down there? <gasps> Wait, I need to go down. I need to go down. How do I go down? It's down. Maybe something happens when you unlock all of their ancestors. I'm freaking out. One saw me. I think one saw me. Something happens when you open all their ancestors, perhaps. Go this way. Go up. I hate how limited light there is. Where am I? Where am I? No. This is, this is nothing new. This is the same, same. This is all the same room. They're making their little gargles. That's just how we get back up. Oh, he's coming! I think I can walk around him this way. Yeah, I'm assuming reduced frights makes them maybe not be able to... snag you as easy. Alright, let's head back now that we've opened up all of them. Which I think I have. Maybe there's something that can happen. Maybe I can... Oh, tell me he's not in front of me. Oh no, ow! Oh, snap. <sighs> I mean, we found good slides, but none of the slides showed us how we unlock the chain. And also, are we sure we want to do this? Or are they just... Oh, but something must have happened. So something must have corrupted this whole kind of thing that they thought they had going on. You know, like, I, I have a feeling that they thought they were doing something that was going to help them stay alive and enjoy their home once again. But it maybe ended up actually, I mean, because seriously, they're in, they're not doing well. This isn't what they imagined. They're now all of a sudden, like, withering away, even in the dream state. We're going to fall here. We're falling. 
We're gonna get brought out in a second. That door opened. So, look. Across the way, this is, this is by the vault. This is by the vault. I can go through. You can run through very quickly. Of course. Wait, but... Ah, but I can't put it out. I'd have to be somewhere to be able to put it out. I'd have to be able to put out the lights in this building if I wanted to be able to get through. How would you even do that? This is cool though, we'll never- I've never seen- Ow! Oh, that would have been cool. Okay, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. All right, we discovered a lot of good stuff there. I just got to find where that light is. I do have to run to the bathroom. Um, okay. All right, hold on one second. I'm going to run to the bathroom and then we'll be right back. Oh, gosh. Ah! It's like I make a step forward, but <sighs> 10 steps back. All right. And I'm back. Okay, so let's start by seeing exactly what we really uncovered there. We did see the slides so now we should be able to see them in their entirety on our ship which is gonna help i'm sitting back relaxing because if we're gonna be running from those things anymore God, i need to stop drinking an energy drink and have some water that's it the forbidden archives i mean obviously that's a lot but a library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants analyzing the eye of the universe. Right. Intact slides reveal the construction and launch of a spacecraft designed to block the eye's signal. Okay, that's what that part was. I wasn't tracking that. I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near a green fire. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep, and the second artifact lights after its bearer dies. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows an alarm bell failing to wake up one of the stranger's inhabitants, failing to wake up the one that was dead, right? The first artifact lights after a bearer falls asleep, the second lights after, okay, so let's watch that. This is the test, right? They put up this kind of like shield bubble. This is like the dream state, I guess. He falls asleep and then he kind of goes into his, you know, sleep cycle. Walks this guy that's pretty much dying at the end of his life. He falls. Oh, I hate when I see them sad. And then this guy dies, so we have no more, like, brain, you know, response. But the torch still lights, which is what they're talking about in that. And he still ends up in the dream state, even after dying. This is when it's two people, so one is alive and one is dead. That's why all the bodies that we're finding right now are dead, because, obviously, I, the universe, time has taken its toll, etc., etc. So they are dead. But if we can bring them back to life, juice up their brain. No, that wouldn't be possible. They're dead. They're dead. So they're all just doomed to like live in this dream state. But also none of these show that it almost, if they had died, they were just kind of doomed to be continuously walking around. Maybe this was like a Hail Mary and they didn't even realize that when they were, maybe when they were alive, in real life in the dream state they were happy they were kinder they were you know actually able to resemble i don't know have some resemblance of life and what they used to have and then once they died outside and they lost that brain you know wavelength they turned into almost being these like zombie different creatures of the night Starlit Cove. I reached the tower's upper floors by projecting the path to the second entrance in the back of the tower. The only confusing part about this is there's no more question mark here, but also it says that there's nothing else to find here. So does that mean I'm done with this? But I also didn't find the answer. So I, I don't know how I could possibly be done because I don't know. 
I don't know the answer or the code to input. This is for Cinder Isles. This is for Map 2. This is of which symbol? I wonder if I should go back to the vault. Because maybe I keep thinking I'm going to need to find the code for them, but maybe I don't. Secret fireplace is such a mess. Let's go canyon next. Let's go canyon. Also, I'm starting to realize that I think this is either going to be like a five hour video or I just need to split it up into two separate videos. <laughs> but Final Fantasy is coming out, guys. I have to. But by no means am I trying to rush this. I want you guys to know that. A part of me might be trying to eventually alleviate this unnerving feeling that I have with the game by being done, but I'm definitely not rushing it. Uh, oh no. I don't have it. I either have to try to land on the stranger with no auto. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Fire retro rockets. Still coming in a little too hot. Reduce speed. Should be better. Um, Y'all, this is very different from the base game. Like, and I can't wait to hear like y'all's thoughts on the DLC as well. I, I actually don't know what I find to be scarier. This or the, I don't know if this is scarier dealing with between the darkness. I find that water, the scary part to me, the darkness of the dream states, unpopular opinion. No, actually it probably is an unpopular opinion. I don't know. My take on it, it's just annoying. Like it's just a reduced vision to me is not something that I, I crave in games. I actually hate low light situations, not because of the unknown with the darkness. I mean, there is an aspect of that for sure, but more than anything, it's just frustrating. Sometimes it's just really frustrating because I want to be able to take everything in and see. And I know that that's exactly what they wanted was to kind of make you feel this. I, I think they did that intentionally because this is also what, you know, this species felt like they were trying to escape death. And in doing so, they ended up changing a lot of stuff. Like, I, I don't know, they kind of messed with, uh, you know, cheating death, I feel like never quite ends up well and good for everyone. But the darkness is just, the water I can get over it. The water's fine, especially since there's nothing in it. Now that we've kind of like, I think we've, I think we've messed around enough to realize there's nothing in the water. The base games, I would almost, and I say this, you know how bad. Y'all saw how bad those anglerfish messed me up. I would prefer the anglerfish because at least it was light and I could see and it almost made it more scary too. But this is the nature of it being so dark and then having these creatures chasing you and I even have reduced frights on. It ends up leaving you on edge. I'm not quite sure that my emotions are like open to experiencing the tale of this new species we run into because I'm so concerned and so on edge. Horror elements in a game that I don't consider to be a horror game are interesting. It's an interesting use. I don't think it's, I don't think it's bad. I just think that it's not for everybody and I probably fall into the category for not for everybody. I loved the main game. I felt like there were terrifying moments in the main game, to be completely honest. There were horrific moments in the main game, especially towards Bramble, but I almost, I almost liked the, like, or even the sand filling up on you. That's like a fear, you know, like that's hor horrifying. So I felt like that was the perfect balance though. Even the anglerfish, it was a good balance. I find that the balance isn't, it just doesn't feel like the scares aren't worth the payoff or something. And I am finding that, and again, I know I'm resetting a lot and a lot of why I'm not making the most of days is because I don't know what I'm doing. 
but I am finding that I'm, I feel like in the main game, there was one particular video I remember uploading that I just felt like I hadn't discovered a lot considering how much time I had put into the game. This DLC, I felt like that more than ever before. Like I specifically, we're doing Canyon. I specifically feel like I can go in this, I can go in here. Not only does the 22 minutes feel like it's 10 times faster because you have these, um, not only auditory uh, indicators that time is running out on you, but you also have physical markers changing of the dam breaking, the breach happening with the lights, the dam then breaking, and then you hit the 22 minutes. And so I feel like my awareness of time is heightened in this DLC than it was in the main game. I mean, in the main game, once I figured out 22 minute interval, here we go, supernova. Once I figured that out, I felt like I never was necessarily afraid of it, except for running that last one. Oh my gosh, running that final piece. Whoo. Well, let me zone off real quick. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This one, it it doesn't feel the same. I'm enjoying it. But not like I enjoyed the main game. All right, so we want to get across there first, so we want to go ahead and make the bridge. I also was wondering if we go ahead and light the bridge now when there's not people surveying the area, do you think that it would be there when the lights go out? We never, we haven't gotten to test this, so we might want to try that. If I could place it, because certain things will go out. So these lanterns will go out, but any of the things that I think spawn because I've turned the lights on, I think that would mean it should still be there. Plus, I want to make sure I'm looking at everything before. Already the breach in the hole? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm going the wrong way. I gotta go down here. Eee. Oh, wait, what? Does fall damage not exist? <gasps> the limit does not exist. Okay, so down here, we know exactly where we're going. So we go down here, we zoom. Yeah, maybe you can avoid having to light this in the dream state. Well, we're in the dream state. It's kind of confusing because it's like a dream, a dream within a dream. <laughs> That's how it feels to me. Because right now, because all these lights are illuminated, I'm assuming that they can't roam free. But as soon as you have your secondary, because you have lanterns and you have candles. So I feel like when the lanterns are lit, the lanterns, I feel like when the lanterns are lit, they can't roam about like they normally would be. But they, the candles don't impact them at all. Yeah, but we're gonna miss a lot of good stuff too because look at all these doors that are opened. I feel like we'd be missing so much. It's not here. There, wolf. Werewolf. There, wolf. Okay, bridge done. We're not gonna lose anything. We've got two different ways. What's over here? Oh, hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. What is this? This might be important for after the fact. Okay, we have a... This is different. Let's go down. This might have been the part that's missing in our canyon. Oh, oh, of course. Okay, wait, that's actually good to know. You would be able to turn out the lights and then you could come up through this way. You know what I mean? You could turn out the lights for it. Wait, hold on. Wake out of this dream state, go to the next dream state, go in that dream state, or wait. Now I'm thinking too hard. I, <laughs> I just think that there is more of a use to, wait. I also need to know. I'm thinking about it too hard. I'm gonna send it down though. Cause I don't know if you, can you send it back down? 
Can you send it? Oh, it might be one of those things that you can't. Like, you have to send it down first. Yes, because I think it would have gone up here had I known. So if you send this down now, you turn out the lights. Could you wake up and make it to... And come back around. And then you could come through here and be on this side without having to light up the bridge. Possibly. I'm thinking too hard about this. You know me, always trying to avoid these little... There it is. Okay, so yeah, we just have to have the bridge lit. You have to be able to make it through. <sighs> Shoot. Okay. This might have been... I didn't see anything saying ship updated, though. That's the only downside. But let's go ahead and turn out the lights. Wait. Wait. Turning out the lights was this way. Uh, we need to go up. Upstairs and around. To the music hall. Yeah. Although now that we have reduced rights on, I wonder if we can... I feel like in the previous one we were kind of able to outrun them a little bit. So maybe we could do the same here. Alright, leap of faith. Light these first. <laughs> Light these first. Okay, Junior. And we're gonna extinguish. Ready? Lights out. Did that put the lights out on the bridge, by the way? All right, the shrieking just happened. The first of them went down. They just died. The first one died. Which means it's about to happen. Did we lose our bridge in the middle? Yes. Look. Wait. Wait. We sh We lost our bridge across the way. Yeah. So you would have to get across and light it. Unless... We take my path. Which is that. But... In order to do that, if there's no fall damage, ah! <laughs> I did want to wake up, so, you know, kind of worked, kind of worked. Okay, this is what we need to do. We need to run, 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 run. We need to get on at a different point. This is the third one. This is okay. I'm wondering if I can pull this off. That would be wild. Hold on, wait, we need to go down there? I could have pulled it off had I not just fallen there. I... I can maybe still pull this off. I don't like this. I don't like this. Stay up. It's actually pretty clear water. Like, you can see that right now. Let's go here. Maybe we can attach to this. If we can get this spot. I don't like it. Oh, there's not one here. Oh, no. Oh, no. But wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Oh, shoot, this is going down. I'm going down. Uh, thought. Little thought. What if we swam under? And we went asleep there, because I do have an artifact. So let me go up and under. Wait, 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 wait. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Get me out. Swim up and under. Can this take us to where I want to go? I don't know. I don't know. Wake up. Can we get to our, can we get to our, we're just trying to get to the, hmm, we need to get to our, wait, this is where I came from. We want our floaty, I don't think this is going to be, I know how to technically get there, but I don't know, I don't know how to get out of this area. I'd have to fall, I'd have to do something to wake back up. Oh, oh that might work. Oh. 
See, I need to get on the float, and then we need to go around the float. Yeah. Can we get to the floaty from here? No, I don't think so. Uh, but, you know what? This is okay. I'm gonna make the most of this. I wanna see this guy. No, I would need one. Which one is the one that I just solved? The archives. It was this one. Wait, which one's Starlight Coves? No. I don't know the answer for it. Bring it! Bring it, yeah! I don't know. Where was I? See, this would spawn a bridge here. But you can't even get there to begin with. This isn't the same as the Leap of Faith bridge, is it? And then this one's gonna call out to us. I was like wondering if you could- No, 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 no. What did we learn from the middle cave? Just trying to figure out what we learned. Mm. I kind of want to try to leave a faithless, but I feel like that's definitely not it. But it will wake me up from the dream state anyway, so what's the harm? I wish I could find... I want to find the floaty. Do we do it? I mean, I have to fall anyway, so I might as well. Yeah. Not leap of faith. Uh, now I really don't think that I would make it. Yeah, because that music's playing. Let me just doze off to our next day. Just doze off. Doze off until we... So, I think I'm onto something, though. I think we can pull it off. It's just going to be really hard to do. And it's not going to give us a lot of time. But I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to use the dream state against itself by hopping on and carrying me on. So, we need to go to... Can That's the only downside is I have to get all the way to Canyon, I think, to even do that. Because I don't think that... I don't think I can... <sighs> I actually had a lot of time, ignore me. Canyon. I don't know. <laughs> Alternatively, we can just go and try to light it from the other way, but I'm gonna have to outrun the creatures. Right? <sighs> I don't like these creatures. I would take the anglerfish over being hunted because that's what it feels like. It feels like you're in this darkness, stumbling around, stubbing my toe everywhere I go. I have no idea what the solution is. We're gonna have to go back to Starlit Clove because we don't have the solution, right? We'll have to go back. We never found the code. I might have to end up doing, um, did I learn anything new? Okay, this did finish though. I found a mural of a large tree at the bottom of the floor. Okay. Hey, progress, I'll take it. I wanna try this, I wanna see if this works. I do. Uh-huh. Beeline. Why? It's still not working. I should maybe just quit to main menu, but I'm already here. I've committed. I've committed and I'm hard-headed. Right, boosters? 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 It's 
so creepy. I think it's because it's like this bronze structure that makes it feel a little bit more terrifying, but... I'm surprised we didn't get damaged there. Right? Oh! Oh! No, 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 no! No! It was such a good landing, too! I thought I put it on. I took it off. I took it off. I always... <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yep. <laughs> It do be like that. Mm-hmm. All right, I put it on. I need to stop putting it on. That's what's happening. I need to stop putting it on. I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to lock onto it, am I? No! All right, since we're here, let me just quit. It's doing the lock-on thing. <laughs> oh, what a time. What a time. Now that I've kind of talked about this, I do want to try to figure this out, but I think we're going to have to do another video. Not have to, but I, I want to do... I, I definitely want to. I'm very conscious that I think this is already almost four hours. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Let's see. It should be on the HUD. No. If only I had known that for the base game. Life would have been a lot simpler. I'll tell you that much. Take me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is when you know I'm starting to get delirious. Taking my system off. Remember when we first discovered this? The sheer terror for no reason. Also, the fact that I never realized how to roll out during the base game. Okay. I have my suit on. Where I go. <laughs> now we know exactly what we need to do and we know how to get there. Go, go, go. I know, I realize now I never go in the other way, even though that was the way that I first went in. I think it's because I'm always trying to get the artifact. It's about to be a speed run to grab it. Because I did fully explore it, right? I don't have to go look at their living quarters, right? It did show up green, so we're good there. Full speed ahead. You know, it'd be kind of fun to probably be in the dream state when the dam crashes though, like on one of the rafts. Cause have we noticed the water, does the water rise in the dream state? Now I'm just trying to, part of me just is now so curious about all the different pieces of this. I do love this music when it strikes right here. Oh, this is record timing. Now I just can't fall and fail. Uh, however, I did just think about this. I need the, I need the dam to break anyway for me to be able to even get to the other dream states. Oh yeah. Yep, because otherwise I come out of this and, oh wait, no, we can always, well, not necessarily, because you can always go up and around before the dam breaks. Never mind. Me always wanting to do it the hard way. I'm ready. When I get an idea and I'm like, I want to execute now. 
I feel like the setup for each and every idea and part that you want to do in the DLC, just it's like you got to leave your planet, you got to get back on here, you got to go down to the right spot. The setup takes forever. But there is no better feeling than when you're like, I've got an idea. And you don't know if it's going to work. It's a little crazy. It might be one of the situations where you guys are like, this is not how you're supposed to do this. But results. Results. <laughs> Dose. And wake up. Wow, you can like get out of the screen before it even shows a second. Huh. So all we need to do is just need to get my path lit a little bit. I honestly might be able to do it without lighting lights, but still, there we go. Light this guy. Boom. Now we go back over here. And we're gonna light our pathway across. So many lanterns. They always remind me of cacti too. Uh, we're going down. We're going down, down. This was the coolest one. Ah, there's just so, so many creative mechanics in the game. Ingenuity is top notch. All right, up over right. Run over here. The hole in the breach hasn't even happened yet. This is good. This is good. I think this is gonna work, guys. Boom. I will say, and this is natural, but the more time you spend in anything, you just feel good. Like you feel like you're getting it. Although there could be slides over here. I just was thinking about that too. There very much could be slides. So we might need to come over here anyway, but I'm gonna wait for it to tell me if I've explored everything or not. Okay, follow this along. I guess let me light a little bit of it. Send this down. And zoom. And down. All right, he is headed down. That should be there to pick us up. Hole in the breach hasn't happened, or breach in the hole, hole in the breach. Hasn't happened yet. Now we need to just get back over. So the dam isn't even starting to have applied pressure yet. Well, there you go. We need to turn out the lights. All right, there is the breach, so the dam's gonna start filling up. We probably have about, mm, I think we'll be fine. We might even get to experience what it's like when you're on the water during the dam's destruction. Light these, where are they? Light these and I hope they made this like a wide area, you know, just in case. Oh, extinguish. When we extinguish that, there's a cry. That is not the destruction of, oh, I need to fall. I need to wake up. I need to wake up. That is not. That's not the first set's dying because the dam wouldn't have broken yet. So that's not, no, there's an intentional shriek happening whenever we put that light out. The light goes out. Maybe they're living their life when the lights are on, but then when it gets covered in darkness, maybe they're like, maybe that's what kills them when we put the lights out. There is something, there's more to explore there. There's definitely more to explore there. Oh, ow. All right, onward. Oh, okay, so we want to go up and over. We can enter from any way. I think the best way to enter for me, where was the way that I found it? There was a path that I found. 
Was it in the river lowlands? Was that the best one? Was that where I originally found it? River lowlands, which means we're gonna have, uh, uh, we have time and we don't have time. It's gonna be a tight, it's gonna be tight. It's gotta be the river lowlands. But, but my body, my body would wake up too soon. I need to enter for some more, from somewhere else. I've got to enter from somewhere else. Where can I hop on in... Where can I hop on in a different dream state? Gosh, see, look, it's going to burst. I would get flooded. There's no way that I can do that from the river lowlands. In the lowlands, at least. There's got, surely there's a way to hop on from the second. How? That dam's gonna break and it's gonna flood and I would wake up, my body would wake up. Even though that's where I know, that's where the start is. I've gotta go past, I've gotta go to the second one, guys. But I don't know. The dam is pretty close. Ugh. I'm gonna take my chances. I, I don't know how to summon it. I knew how to summon it in the... We know how to get to it in the second one. We just have to find how to... No, 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 no. We have to figure out how to get to it in this one. Hmm. It's not... It's not the same as the other one. Where did we, didn't we hop off for a second to see it? And I was like, oh no, I gotta go. This isn't gonna work if even, even if I'm the fastest possible, I can't enter from the lowlands. My body will get smooshed or I'll just be woken up. How? I know that this is a good idea. I think it can work. I just have to figure out. Where did I even hop off? We might have to experiment before we can fully do this. Okay. We're lit. Mm. I come out. We've got this path. This path gets shown. It comes from there. So it comes from there. Is it here? Wait, there. It might be somewhere, hmm, because I come out of this, it might be, and I never fully explored this because I think I, I think I was trying to do something faster. So let me quickly run over here. I'm thinking when I illuminate this path right here, when I illuminate this path, maybe that's how you summon it. Yes, I think so, because I don't think I ever went and ran everywhere there. Yes, let's try this. I think this is, this would make the most sense. Yeah, look, there's my dock. Okay, there's my dock. Okay, I'm glad I took this. Yeah, remember the little, I didn't ever fully come here except for when I hopped out the dock because I would go down that way and then I ran into there. Oh, this is awkward, hold on. Uh, right side. And dock, 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 yes, 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 yes. Bring that raft on over, baby. There's nothing over here, right? Okay, raft inbound. I think this is gonna work. I really do. Yee! All right, onward. We're just gonna full speed ahead. We're also gonna get to see what happens when you break the dam. Is that it or is it one more? This is it. This is it. This is our stop. I kind of win. Okay, here we go. Ready? Wait, what happens if you extinguish the raft? I've never thought about extinguishing the raft. But it's down here now. See, you don't have a lever. I knew it. I knew it. I think we can do this. I just want to make sure that doesn't flood. 
a little bit worried after the dam happens. We're gonna get pushed off, so we still have limited time, yeah. Yeah, we're going topsy-turvy. Ooh. Okay, we leveled out for a second. This is good. The only thing is, there still could be a ton of them down on the base level. Like, there's no reason why they wouldn't have more. You know what I mean? Like, there's probably a guy down here. You guys hear, like, a little... Is there one down here? No. Wait, there is one behind me. There is one behind me. There's one behind me. There's one behind me. Am I walking on nothing? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Is he still behind me? I just went. I just went. I did. Oh my gosh. That's so lucked out. Holy cow. Wait, am I going down or am I going up? Let's try going up. <clears throat> I can't. We have to go down. Go down. This is something else. Oh my gosh. Out of sheer fear, he pushed me off the ledge. Another archive. We've done it. A second one. That means that there's a first one. That means there has to be an archive behind that fire. Oh my gosh, look. Wait a minute. How am I supposed to? It's going to be burnt out anyway. Let's go down here first. Oh my goodness. Artifact in. But we have to find. Ah. Uh. Oh, wait. I went through the door. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Already holding artifact. Wait, am I stuck now? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, wait. We just have to come up here. We need to place the artifact. We need to read these before I fall over. I'm in the same situation. Same situation. I can get this one. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Will you just miss a lot of time, I think, if you have to do it the path I did? Okay, this is the slide where... They go over here, they're in the sad, yeah. They start looking at their home, and they're reminiscing. So they decide to build... They build... a fake home. And this is them building it, falling asleep. And that's that. They decided to build it. Oh. Let me see if there's any more up here. Can I, am I gonna be able to grab that one? I don't think, I don't think you would. That can't be the only piece that you're supposed to get though. See, there's more doors left to explore here. There's so many more doors, like this door, like what am I supposed to, does that open? Oh, that's normally closed, isn't it? I can't see crap though. Ow, I think I just... No, it's still closed. I can't see anything. This isn't right. There's more to explore here, and I just... Can I set this down? Is it a leap of faith kind of thing? Wait, drop artifact. You can just drop the artifact wherever. Oh. Is that important? Is that used to open up the doors? Artifact. Down. Light. No, but if you want complete darkness, you could set it like this way, maybe? Mmm, I don't think that's meant to be. Doesn't make sense. Let me try jumping on this. Try jumping. Okay. <laughs> A second slide. That thing's gonna be burnt out. Okay, this is the construction of it. He's using his thing and he's going along in. So they're just walking and he sets his lantern down and it speaks. Oh, but then he goes outside. You set the lantern down and you go outside, you lose the signal. I 
I don't know. Uh, is that why you can set the lantern down wherever? You're in a bubble. You're in this like protective bubble. I think I'm gonna fall, but I, I feel like I also don't have a whole lot to lose. So if I go away from the artifact... <gasps> Holy cow! Oh... <gasps> well, let's put the artifact back down here. And go over here. Oh my gosh. This game is beautiful. This is a work of art. But I can't see anything. Can I go through it? Can I do anything with it? It's still burnt out. It's still burnt out. Guys, this changes the entire game. Oh my gosh, can you think of the pathways? <sighs> We're about to fall, but I don't even care. I never thought that, what? <laughs> Is this open now? No, this isn't open now. But you can't go through just anywhere. So it's not like it, it's not like you can do use interface. But that's there's nothing new. Yeah, that would be different. But what if there's different what if this wait, isn't there something in the slide right now? Wait, let me grab my artifact. Oh, but then you wouldn't be able to use the interface with the artifact in there because you wouldn't be outside of it. Oh my gosh. This might be one of the coolest games I've encountered, just period, from like the standpoint of different things to use and do and but again that's burned out how am i supposed to make sure that they're not burned out do i have to hit it earlier is there guys this is amazing and that explains why some of the light that explains why um like right here i mean i accidentally found this but like the other one where we found where they talked about going across like the leap of faith if we set this down right here let's set the artifact down here and then you walk outside, everything's not so dark. This is how you know. And you can see all of the invisible structures. There's, there's actually another one. Oh wait, no, that's a real bridge. That's a real bridge. That's the journey, that's the... <sighs> that's that guy. I can now travel and not be as worried. Can he see me when I'm outside of the construct? <gasps> no, he kinda can, he can, he can, he can. Okay, they can. Okay, okay, but <laughs> this is huge. This is huge, massive findings. How does this change what we've done though? And how does this ensure, how does this ensure that we, I, I don't know, how does this make sure that we know everything? And I still have to find the codes to get across and to solve and unlock this vault, but wow. <laughs> this is one of those things that just completely changes the game for you. Like all of my thoughts before, I'm like, this is brilliance. This is a work of art. This is truly restored. Like all of my excitement for it, especially if I'm scared of the dark, all I have to do is not bring the light with me. Who would have thought? But you still can get caught. So that is important. But we still need to remember that in the darkness, it's still harder for them to see us. Maybe now we can do the first one. Yeah, oh my gosh. Forbidden archive. <laughs> a library full of intact slide reels de uh, hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants congregating around a strange green fire. Intact slides reveal the creation of a simulated reality modeled after their home moon. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants dropping their artifact on the ground and walking beyond its projection. But this brings up the biggest question of all. I now don't have any oranges associated with these two areas. So it's my understanding that I've like successfully solved those. 
But I couldn't have because I have not found the codes. I have not found the codes to enter into the vault, the underground vault. But maybe the secret fireplace and maybe now that we know we can go into this beyond, maybe that will help us. I mean, that's how we were able to get away, like get over to, to it. We just have to stop it before they're burned. How could you get to it before it was burned? That's going to be the, that's going to be the most challenging thing. But this episode has been so long, <laughs> super, super long. So I'm going to stop it here. Our next episode might be a little bit shorter or not, because as you guys can tell, like these 20 minute, these 22 minute intervals are flying by, like seriously flying by, especially because I feel like there's a lot of finesse to get yourself into the right situation. Or if you get caught by the creatures, then you have to reset and there's like so many steps one after another that you have to successfully do to learn just a fragment of additional information. This one, when we found this symbol, we just opened it and found it. We opened this right in the island tower, the symbol room. We turned the lights out and in turn, we found it. But it wasn't burned out or was it burned out in the daytime? No, it was just covered. So maybe it is something to do with the lights in these areas, like where these forbidden archives are. <sighs> I don't know, guys. But I feel like we're about as close as possible. I know I said that last time. I thought this was going to be the final episode, but I am simultaneously taking my time, but also getting overly excited and wanting to like rush on to the next thing because I feel like I'm getting breakthroughs left and right and left and right. This was good. This was good. I'm super happy with everything we did today. I think there's still a lot of parts that I'm not understanding or pieces I'm missing. And hopefully I do uncover those in the next section. But if not, that's what multiple playthroughs are for. And that's what me eventually being able to go back through and seeing the ways that you guys have gotten to maybe certain outcomes as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stand by for one more episode. And yeah, until next time. Bye, YouTube. As you can tell, I tried really hard to walk away and put this down and say that I didn't want to give you guys this massive long video. But now that we've learned what we've learned, I need to know more. Like, I need to know more. And I want to be able to see if going outside of the zone for the secret fireplace would work. And we're just going to keep going. And this is going to be the one of the longest videos. And I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. I just feel like we, I just feel like that was such a big discovery that it would be just kind of a shame to do that, to stop at this point in time. So we're going to figure out that first one and then we're going to figure out this vault because I cannot go. I, I'm supposed to go to the gym right now and I'm supposed to do like 12 different things, but this is going to plague my thoughts if I do not discover and figure out the solution to this. And now that I, I mean, it's like dangling a carrot. Oh, st what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm gonna try to freehand it. And we might have to reset. All right, retro rockets, retro rockets. Nice, coming on, coming on. Up, 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 retro rockets. And... Ow! Oh, snap. See? Exactly. This is why. This is why. Should have just reset it. I hate it. It's because when you hear a lot, it's the sound of the thud. It's not even what happens to you. It's not the damage of the ship. It's just like, you hear that thud and you're like, huh, oh, anglerfish. <laughs> no, no. Okay, whatever. So we need to go into dream state. We need to dream state this. Dream state, go outside of the zone at the river house. I think we can still follow them. I think that's not the issue. Once again, the issue falls within, what do we do once they all get in there? Maybe we need to get in there before they all get in there because then there's less to be caught by or maybe we can zoom behind them. 
All I know is I'm going into the Matrix. But for two of them to not have and to also not have orange, maybe... Ugh. Maybe the answer isn't... Like, I keep thinking I'm going to find the codes, but maybe that's the whole thing is maybe the codes aren't... Maybe the codes aren't... Like, maybe the codes are something that you have to find elsewhere. It's just not like the game. The game would show you if there was more, but then also sometimes you never get, like, you know in the pop-up on the rumor mill? I always call it the rumor mill, but... On the rumor sheet, I feel like it would then pop up. I wish we could translate. I don't know. It might, there might genuinely, but we're encountering it. We're encountering it. We're seeing them burned out. I feel like I'm on the cusp. I'm on the bubble. Alright, I'm gonna conquer this. Wake up. Da -da 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 -da. I guess we could leave our uh I haven't thought about this. Leave it. This is so cool. I almost just wanna see everything. You know what, though? You can't just move through anything. So that is one of the downsides to this, is you can't summon anything or use any of the activation. So it's useful to a certain extent, you know? I like seeing the, the circle that wherever you put the, wherever you put the artifact. Okay, let's get back to the... We need to specifically get back to... Is it this way? No, there's something else over here. Is it this way? Yeah. Get back to the main house. And then maybe we can see if there's somewhere to blow the lights out in the main house. Yeah, maybe if I can see it from that perspective. Because right now it's so dark, it's hard to see anything, right? But maybe... Wait a minute, where am I? Case in point. Oh my. What have I done? Oh, here it is. Yeah, exactly. Okay, there we go. We're going this way. You know what though? Well, I don't need this. I don't think. I actually do want to see if that... Okay, look through. Perfect. I'm gonna leave it... I'm gonna leave it on the bridge. Because I don't want to have to go back so far. Oh, this way. Let's do... Drop it. Yes, here we go. So I can see exactly where they are. And this should be good. I, I don't feel like, well, do I not? I think I need the light to get past them. Look, there's a second level. Maybe if I scout out ahead. Let's scout out. So we have these guys that go back and forth and back and forth. There's something, that's where I came from, right? That's the house I came from. This guy's right there. I'm in the complete darkness, so unless I'm standing right in front of them, they shouldn't be able to see me. Shouldn't is the keyword. This house we haven't gone in. This is something. These are closed.
These are... That's where he comes from. So that's the third one. Yeah, I mean, we know we can't go through any of this. That's the third one. I think if anything, they're just placed here to show more coming. This is the third one. I'm gonna try to do it with this. That's solely for the purpose of getting across, right? Is that like a building that we have to get to? Oh. There should be a fourth one that comes too. What is that? This is something. I think it's just furniture. Furniture and a dock. I like that they still added, like it, they didn't just do the things that they needed to do, they added more areas, you know? Like they could have simply just done a couple, um, a couple things, like the main thing that you need, but they, oh, there's another one coming, wait, oh. Actually, this is good, this is good. Well, I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna let him go past me, wow. This is beautiful. Hmm. They look kind of funny in this version. A little less intimidating. So we pop up here. And... There's a fourth one coming, but that's okay. So we pop up here. They can see me in this mode. They absolutely can see me in this mode. That one goes out the door over there. Oh. Does one leave every time one arrives? Okay, that one got alerted. That one's alerted. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Okay. My neck got snapped. All right, let me doze off again. So how? How? How does one get past them? I don't think it has to do with going outside of the zone. Everything should be intact. Yeah, everything that we've already used. <sighs> Let me get back. They're so finicky. <sighs> I think they slowly are leaving, though. Music's still going. All four of them would have arrived by now, so we don't have to worry about that. We can kind of like freely, freely go, boldly go where no one's gone. No, there is a fourth light. Look at that. There's another light. I just saw him. Yeah, I just saw him. Really? I thought all four of them went. Or do they just keep coming and they don't stop coming? What in the world? Got a straggler. <laughs> I'm so lost. Like, I don't think I'm doing it right, but I don't think... Is this a me thing? Because they're just gonna... They're gonna scream and cry. I'm going to the vault after this. I want to escape from this. I need a break. What? Okay. Everything that we have at our disposal, we can go outside of the bubble. That's not going to aid us here. There's nothing that we can get into or do. So 
So that's not it. Oh, shoot. There it is. So that's not going to be the aspect. We have the focus and conceal. Music still playing. Concealing helps us get up there, but once we're in there, they can spot us. I didn't see anything. I mean, especially now that we can go outside the bubble, I didn't see... I'm always going to call it a bubble. I didn't see anything that would put out the lights in the building to make us be able to sneak past. The dam just broke. So we're about to get drowned. You! You! Yeah. Here, well, we're both gonna die here in a second, so. Oh. Uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Let's review all of the data we have. Okay. I gotta understand this. <gasps> the DLC does not hold your hand. I think there's... That is one thing I feel like I'm really coming to terms with. The DLC is brutal. It's probably straightforward once you know. Why am I moving so slow? You know what? I have to quit anyway because... I can't auto anything. Oh, I quit to the main menu anyway, because I, yeah, I, ignore me. But I also was moving weirdly slow. I still am. Do you always move this slow? Am I? You might be acting crazy, but. Rumor mode, here we go. We have two forbidden archives. A hidden vault. I found a vault wrapped in chains marked with three glowing symbols. A slide reel from the river lowlands showed a strange vault being closed and sealed with chains and glowing symbols. So each of these slideshows, we see them locking three capsules and then it's burned out. But they enclosed three Mm -hmm. A slide reel from the cinder aisle showed a glowing symbol and chains appearing around a strange vault. And then hidden gorge showed a glowing symbol and chains around a strange vault. The structure submerged. A large metal structure suspended by chains. It can be entered by swimming from below and there's a sealed alum- yeah. Which is why we knew that we could possibly go under, so we found the subterranean lake. I discovered a vast subterranean lake beneath the submerged structure. The sealed vault is resting on the shore of the lake. There are three interfaces, each marked with one of the three symbols from the vault. Three interfaces we know. I rotated the mechanism in front of the vault, causing it to strain against the chains holding it shut. Moments later, rays of green light spilled out of the vault. And we were able to... something with the symbol? A secret room filled with wooden container marks with different symbols. Three of the containers are marked with glowing vault seals. But their contents have been burned away. Yes, three of the containers, right. Their contents were burned away, which is why I thought we were going after them in the Forbidden Archives. I thought the whole point of that was to find the non-burned out version of the symbols. But... Maybe that's not, maybe like we're not going to find that. I opened the container marked with the symbol of the burning slide reel and found a vertical sequence of symbols inside. The island tower we know about, which we're still trying to figure out how to like zap us home. So, okay, go ahead. River lowlands is done, burn slide, the burning slide reel, the burning room, he hands it over. This is where we find out we need to go into the fireplace. They all four go over there, and I watch them. And they walk through. Hmm. Is watching them important? No, I feel like that's just a vantage point for the shot. 
dense forest along the riverbanks. I riverbanks. I heard music coming from the candlelight building across the water. Found a covered bridge leading into the darkest part of the forest. Hidden slide rail. Starlit Cove. A secluded village nesting within a cove. A candlelit tower sits atop a nearby island. The well at the bottom of the village is guarded by a statue that activates an alarm bell, which we went past. I found the remains of burned out buildings on the outskirts of town, and I reached the tower's upper floors by projecting a path to the second entrance at the back of the tower. This forbidden slide, a library full of intact. I found a slide reel that showed the stranger's inhabitants analyzing the eye of the universe. Two artifacts being lit near a green fire. Right, this is where one is lit after falling asleep and the second artifact is after the bearer dies. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows an alarm bell failing to wake up one of the stranger's inhabitants. It fails to wake up the stranger's inhabitant if you... Maybe I can survive. Can I survive the dam? the dam's breakage if I'm outside of the dome, like if I'm outside of the barrier, will it not wake me up the same way? So when I go to the, let's try it. When we go to here, after it breaks, let's try to be outside and maybe it won't pull me back to life. That could be, that's a possibility. Let's try. I, I, I why am I moving so slow? That's, possibility possibly there were three things you know what this reminds me of also this reminds me oddly enough of what i'm gonna be walking slow the whole time <laughs> i actually i think i'm gonna need to i think i need to quit out of the game in its entirety look at this i mean yeah i'm supposed to be able to sprint around I'm not crouching, right? No. All right, let me quit, quit. Um, yeah, that is maybe how, but I would have assumed you would have to, I was thinking you would have to know. I was thinking you would have to go one by one. So I find it interesting that you don't start with the lowlands because if you don't know that, then you wouldn't happen to stumble across that unless you go to the other areas. But that's the first one you encounter. But maybe, yeah, maybe you're not meant to go there first. My brain. I'll tell you what, Outer Wilds has me thinking <sighs> wild possibilities. I mean, if you guys have seen any of my, <gasps> any of the games where I'm trying to do predictions for here we go. Like, this is not, this is a lot faster than what I was going. Yeah. Wait, maybe I'm crazy. No, look, look how fast I'm moving now. Yeah. She thinks I'm crazy. Okay, we're going to the stranger. Let's try this bubble and it shouldn't wake me back up. But does that mean I drown in real life and I die? I think that means I'm gonna die. But if we get the solution, then I'm okay with it. Wait. Oh, you know what? Probably not a great idea. That can't be it. You know why? Because in order to be outside of the bubble, you have to put the artifact down. We've needed to use the artifact in every single archive that we run into. We've needed to use the artifact. So that's not it either. We need to look at the ship HUD. No. Yeah, because think about it. What would end up happening? I can already predict it now. We'd get there. We'd think that we've cheated death. But. Or cheated. Yeah, I guess cheated death. We think we'd done it. But what would happen is we would collect slides, but we wouldn't be able to see them. So. That takes us back to, we have to be able to get past them. <sighs> we have to be able to get past them while holding our lantern. Go back to the Forbidden Archives. Let me watch all of them again. Let me watch this one, the brain, 
This is the one where, yeah, so one guy falls asleep. One person dies. One person dies. How can I die, though? How can I die in front of one of these fires? And then also, well, we have the 22 minute interval. One person dies. How can I die in front of... Is it possible? That seems really weird though, because if I were to die, my 22 minute interval would start all over again. But that's just a weird concept to begin with. My character would be willing to die just to get... Uh, that just seems... But why else would they say that there's two different ways to enter the dream state? If I were to die, I feel like I'm talking to Edgar Allan Poe right now. If I were to die, they would still be able to kill me if I was dead? They would still, if I'm, if you're dead, can you come out of the dream state? If I'm already dead, if the water got me, I'd still stay in the dream state? I'm gonna test this theory before we go back to testing the other one because I just, again, I think if I were to be outside the bubble when it comes, I wouldn't be able to read anything. Can they kill you if you're dead? They couldn't wake you up. All right, let me see. Wait. I dropped an artifact? Are you kidding me? Oh. It's like, hold on. You do? I think you move a little. Maybe you don't. I feel like you move a little slower with the artifact. But that doesn't, oh, how do you die? How do you die? Well, maybe I could die if I drowned and then I could be, mm, wrong one. Die. We never tried to kill ourselves before in this game. It's a little morbid. Y'all are all dead. Roast marshmallow doze off. Again, what does roasting marshmallows do? Can anybody, ex I wanna know what that serves the purpose in the game or is it just a cute little mechanic? All right, I'm trying to get it perfectly golden. No, 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 no. Toss it. Do I need to marshmallow myself? Marshmallow myself? I will die. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Is the marshmallow there? Because that's how you find- Oh, I'm still burning. Can you die within it? Can I die within a die? Okay, so we're in a dream state. But if we get woken back up, we're gonna be dead. Dead, dead. So the day will restart. So if we get caught in this, this has to be. What happens if I'm dead and I put this down? Everything's the same. Everything's the same. There's really nothing new. I wanna see if they grab you. Can they kill you? Mm, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, I'm lost. Hey. Ah, uh, with um, <laughs> this way. So we are still here. I think this is where I always fall. I gotta go that way. Yes. It's so damn dark. Okay, we're here. So according to the reel, if the person was dead, they weren't able to get called back out from external factors, right? Because they were trying to say, and they were trying to send wavelengths to get them to come back up, to get them to come out of it. 
So I am, I am, I'm a little worried. I don't, I don't think, I think if we were to get caught by them and they woke us up internally, I think you would still, I think you would wake up and you would just have to start the day over again. Cause I think your body would be dead. And we want to stay in the dream state while they get zapped, but they're all dead too. So that's no, that doesn't make any sense either. That doesn't make any sense because we just saw when we were out, when we were in the outside of the bubble, the dam broke. They all got zapped as well. We're gonna have to, this is some Papa Squad. Papa Squad. I'm gonna wait for the dam. All right, we're gonna speed this up and wait for the dam because I'm testing things. I'm in run out of all other options. So we're gonna fast forward this and we'll see what happens when the dam breaks. Yes. So it didn't work. It didn't work, or... Ah! I don't know what just happened there. I think when I stepped back into the real world, because the dam was broken, I died. Because the dam had broke and I was already dead, when I stepped back into the real world and the dam had broken, I just really did die. So that's... So that's not it. So that provided nothing. Nothing. That wasn't it. I died for nothing. Or maybe, wait, okay, so go back and read this again. <sighs> Artifacts can be lit in two ways. Bearer dies. The bearer dies. Or falls asleep. Here's a sort of error report. It shows an alarm bell failing to wake a person up. Let's go watch that one. That one should be the failing to wake up. It should be these two. So two are asleep right now. It's trying to wake everybody up. That's why I was getting woken up. So regardless when the dam breaks, whether you're dead or not, you are going to be woken up from this world. But if you are living and the chimes go off, if you're living and the chimes go off, you will wake up, the other person will stay dead. Which is why they just kept going. It has to be. It's why they just kept going. But if we piece that together with the Forbidden art of, uh, Archive here, Stranger's Inhabitants, okay. Um, error report. It shows one of the Stranger's Inhabitants dropping their artifact on the ground and walking beyond a projection radius. So he goes in here, they make the strange world. This one. This is how we go into the... Oh, right. He's walking with the lantern. He puts the lantern down. Walks outside the bubble. Sees things from a, like, completely different perspective. Therefore, I think the solution to this I'm gonna try it being dead and see if they can, cause I, I, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the dead thing again, but instead of waiting for the dam, because of course the dam would swipe, wipe, uh, wipe up all of us. Let me just try going past them maybe. Cause maybe, I don't know. Cause if I'm already dead, do they even see me? Well, they, of course, because they're dead and they can see one another, but Maybe they're detecting live people. So if I'm dead, they wouldn't try to attack me because maybe it's like some kind of, they, they almost see it in their, um, 
system, maybe they're reading me as like an error in the system or a intruder, which I am, but you know what I mean? Maybe to them, they can see that I'm made of organic parts and I'm not this like, you know, of some sort. So I'm like this stranger visiting. Ah! Now I've just got another guy. Hold on, I've got it. I got excited. Okay, so let's try the death thing. I should have tried that to start with. So it has nothing about dropping, it's nothing about dropping the lantern. It's just about being dead or alive. Okay, I have everything. Okay, I think this is gonna work. Uh, I wonder if when you're, no, not when you're dead. Still trying to figure out the language. I think this is gonna work. You know what, but this is like the trial and error. <laughs> oh wait, wait, what am I doing? I'm getting really excited because I feel like I know. I feel like this is gonna work. I'm so sure this is gonna work. I'll be devastated if it isn't and I will have no idea how to get this. This might end up being the one thing we're gonna have to look up if I don't get it after this because that will have been like all of my possible ideas. Onward. I think this is it. Because you have to simultaneously keep the artifact, stay alone, keep the artifact, be able to pass them. I still am gonna follow behind one of them. I'm not gonna like test it. I'm gonna enter in and see if he accepts my offering. Take this, take my strong arm. Oh, I, I, for, I always forget that I have the thing. This is good, this is good, this is good. Roasty toasty. So brutal. What is this reminding me of? There was a lot of, there were a lot of, uh, no, there was that one part. I mean, if you think about Outer Wilds main game, you were finding little pieces that all added up to unlocking something larger. Think about the quantum moon. We were learning multiple different components to the quantum moon that ended up allowing us to understand how to get there. There were like multiple different Hmm. Okay. So maybe each, like, kind of like the quantum moon, there were three rules, right? Weren't there three, six rules? The rule of six? There were a certain amount of rules. Maybe each of these is trying to teach us, like, a different kind of rule, essentially. And from that, we go and use it on the vault. And maybe that's why we're not finding the symbols. There's three separate paths inside of the vault's area. Like if you think about the subterranean by the vault, there are three separate paths. So we still have to do those. So maybe we have to take what we've learned in these parts. Maybe that's why, if you think about it, the most knowledge that we've learned comes from these hidden areas. Like, learning about how you either can be dead or alive. Like, that's a massive part to the story, right? So... Maybe we need to go forth and conquer, using what we know. They're all learning lessons. I love this bridge. Alright, we're dead. We're gonna try it. I'm still not gonna, like, be aggressive. I'm gonna just slowly kind of walk behind one, and then maybe... Maybe they'll think I'm one of them. <laughs> She's kind of sneaky. I don't know if I should be in the pitch black though. There's one. We could also just test it by simply running up to him, and then if he gets alerted, he'll let us know, and then we could run away, and I think he might reset, I don't know. I'm gonna go about this. Mm. 
one. They're doing quite the slow walk though. This is our last piece and then we can fixate on the vault. That's why I'm like, I just have to solve this. It's killing me. Which one did we really find out? So the, the middle one is where we found out. Okay, the caverns, the endless cavern or canyons, the endless canyons where we figured out that you can go outside the bubble. Then the middle one was where we figured out about dying. So what, but that wouldn't have really, I mean, I guess that taught us that dying changes things. But this one would have to teach us an additional thing that we need to use. Okay, you go and then I'll go next. <laughs> Maybe I should have grabbed some of their clothes, thrown on some of their clothes. Okay. I am dead and I am entering. Guys, they know that I'm not one of them. Why else would they stop the music? I am dead. Nope, 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 nope. Being dead does not matter. Being dead does not matter. I don't get it. Being dead, nothing. They still get alerted by your presence. We've waited, we've tried to out, like we've tried to outlast them. All that happens is the dam breaks. We've tried to be outside the bubble, but as soon as the dam breaks, both dead and alive are gonna get wiped out. So that doesn't matter. I don't get it. <sighs> I don't get it. I was so sure that if we were dead, they wouldn't pick up that we were not one of them, you know? That was kind of where my brain was going. There's gotta be some other kind of piece that we're missing here. The light following me through the forest of the candlelight. There's nowhere outside that I can turn the lights off in the main woodland building. Ah, they go, they're moving, they're moving. Four of them go, they go into here. There wasn't a way. When we were outside the bubble, there wasn't a way into the second story, was there? You know how there's a second door? Like there's a door up top? I do wanna test out some of the things we've learned on the subterranean area. So I think let's go there just cause I feel like I need to feel like I'm doing, I gotta feel like I'm doing something right. I need a little win. Uh, not that it's gonna matter, but... Alright, we have tried to approach it being dead. We've tried to be dead and... I think maybe you just don't be dead. Don't be dead. Just don't be dead. Just enter it in. There's other areas. Maybe we're supposed to go inside of their huts. The other area is just so you can get the boat, right? <sighs> hmm. What else? What else? What else? We've done death. We've done... Having the light, we've tried turning off the light. I don't want to have to look this up. Like, I am going to be devastated if this is the one thing. Really. I feel like I just need, like, a change of scenery for a second. Let my brain think. 
I actually could have gone through there. I didn't have to go this way. I'm gonna try. I just, I'm trying to think of anything else. They're in this house. They're constantly playing the music. The music stops when I enter the hut. But we've watched the hut the whole time too and the hut has not stopped its music. So it's not like we have to wait for them to move inward. I actually need to go back out. Hmm. I love this door on a completely unrelated note. This is gonna drive me insane. Oh. The other two locations have taught us that there might be something that we need to die for. That going outside of the lanterns is good. What other things are we... The only other things would be the fact that lights on the inside and the outside matter, but I don't recognize any of the buildings. In the dream state, I don't recognize any of those buildings. Like that congregation building does not... I don't think it exists in this version but maybe there's one building that exists in both and you're supposed to turn out a light or something i like when that's actually further up i think that's going to be really hard to dive into before the dam breaks okay let's <laughs> i know i keep going back and forth um i am going to try to go back in that dream state I want to see the other buildings. I, I've got to, we've got to put our thinking cap on for this. We're going to have to come back to it. This is the last piece. We know that lights do like relate to one another in life and in the dream state. I keep saying in life. I don't know like the, you know what I mean, but we know that they, they do impact one another. Why am I getting in my ship? What else? What else? What else? We know that we have these travel systems. We know that we can summon the boat here. The boat. What keeps causing me to die in that area? Being summoned in that area. Oh my gosh, of course. A oh, freaking course! Guys, it is a matter of time, but it's not. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was thinking too hard about this. It's it. Wait. Oh. It's so simple. How do I buy more time in the dream state? By being up on one of the higher areas. How. Why else would they want you to travel between all the areas? Once we hear the first set of them cry out, we know that they've been killed, whether you're in the dream state or not. So if we're in the canyon, when they cry out, we get on the boat, we hop back on the boat, and we get back to the first area, no bodies will be there. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to wait a second, but this has gotta be it. That's why you can traverse between all three states. Oh my gosh. Here I was thinking you had to die. <sighs> so, timing, 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 timing. I always knew that they were, go like the, the cries, the screeches were happening whenever different pieces of them were dying out. But I didn't think that we would have to wait for them to be dead to explore. But of course, because the lowlands are the one area that completely gets submerged up until, um, second area? Second area never gets fully submerged either, right? Wait, wait, I'm thinking about the second area. All right, breach in the hole. This is good. This is good. This has got to be it. This has to be it. Um, this is awesome. 
So we need to do all the light stuff too. We have to switch all the light stuff around. The middle one, uh, yes, the middle one you do end up going underwater, but it doesn't matter right there because it has nothing to do with the people. The people are what impact us from not being able to traverse into the fire. But for the second one, you just have to evade the people. This is it. This is absolutely has to be it. Where is it? Where are you? Oh. Hold on. I know I said that about the dying thing, but I really, 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 really hope this works. <sighs> Doze off. <laughs> okay, this is gonna stay. You. This is the one safe area that no matter when the dam breaks, no matter what, as long as you're here, you can you can get your maximum amount of time in the dream state here. <sighs> what a clever game. I have so much respect for even the people that go behind creating something like this because if I have our, like, think about this. We're reacting to something, right? We're reacting to something somebody has created and we're slowly getting there and creating this. But somebody came up with this without having anybody hold their hand or like come up, like lead them to these ideas. Somebody thought of all of this just in their head. I hope this yields the results I want. I really do. I love the little rugs. This has got to be it. I keep saying it because I just, I know I have this gut feeling. I have this gut feeling and after so many failures and I'm not gonna lie like there's times where because I sit here and I'm like whenever I'm recording it's incredibly vulnerable like it's it's super vulnerable to be playing a game in front of people because you're putting your you know intelligence out there your critical thinking skills like you're putting them all on the line and just burying them uh for all to see <laughs> and I don't know if sometimes maybe the the knowledge that like, you know, people are gonna be watching or, you know, I know people are gonna react or say something. It kind of like, maybe kind of does this like deer in the headlights where you just freeze up a little bit and your brain is, I'm my brain sometimes I think is working harder than it naturally would because I'm trying to come up with solutions because I don't want to look <laughs> um, incapable of, you know, thinking critically or solving puzzles. So I end up just overthinking probably 50% of things, maybe even like, maybe even higher than 50% of things, but I definitely think I end up overthinking everything. Okay, so now we just have to wait. We just have to wait for the damn break and to hear the first set of cries. <sighs> okay, so the dam just broke, y'all. I had to go pick up a package. I don't think anything's, yeah, so the first set of them just died. They just got eradicated. Let's go. Ride it. Ride it. You know why too, is I don't think the water, I don't think the water level changes or anything. I just think that that's when you know you're safe to go. I don't know for a fact. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm scared. Okay, wait, no, 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 no. No, I think we're fine. I think it's just the outside. I think it's like the outside, you can kind of hear that the water is changing. Like the water's come this way, but on the inside, we're fine. But, but I'm just scared. I'm like, no, 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 no. What's worse than the water? Falling into the water in this part of it. All the way. Yeah, but I, I still want to know what happens if we turn off the lights on this ship. This should take us to the eye. All right, so we come to the vault. We're going to need to come here later so that we can go to the submerged lake. But we're just going to go on past. Goodbye. Goodbye now. And go back to the front. 
This has to be it. Come on. Okay, we are back in the Riverlands. Okay, ready? Oh, gosh, that was scary. Okay, that's how we get the boat to come back. Now we need to go this way. Although we never opened this, but we should be fine. I think it should open from this side. I might have messed up. You have to make sure this pass is open. No. I think you have to make sure this pass is open. You do. You do. Oh, snap. I think. I think, unless you're supposed to extinguish this. Yeah. That, that's only, oh no, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to start all of this over. I have to get this one ready, yep. Yep. Cause you can't hop off. There's no way for you to hop off over there. Ah! All right, guys, we have to, am I dead? I'm not dead. Okay, I have to start the day over and I have to make sure I do all of that. So I'm gonna set us up, get us back here. Yeah, I'm gonna set us up and get us back here. Um, and then we'll pick up right back there. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, I've gotten us completely back. The dam just broke, so we should hear cries here soon. And I opened up the, yep, all right, there, the, there it is. Okay, our first cries. Here we go. Man, how many of you guys did that too? Where you ended up <laughs> not being able to hop off because you didn't open up the path? I wouldn't have even thought about that though. Like I would have come up with the idea of only ever after. I completely forgot that you would have to think about where you're hopping off. Okay, so we go beyond this. The dam's happening. We'll come back here when we need to go to the subterranean area. We might actually be able to access it after we find whatever we do over here. Might be able to do a little. All right, fast travel. Come on, this has got to be it. Okay, it's wiped out all of them. Here we go. Coming in hot. Got it. All right. Let's find those last girls and let's finish this. It's so quiet. Okay, this way. Mm. Wait. No, 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 no. Okay, I was like, is there a second place that I could have hopped off? I would have been crushed. Um, that's right, I didn't light my path here because, okay, so we're, there it is. Because I kept going straight, but yeah, there, 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 there. And we do need to be a little bit fast because it's not like we have unlimited time here. We know the dam's just broken, so maybe 10 minutes total. This is awesome. I want to build a little like Minecraft world that mimics this. Okay, bridge done. <sighs> Easy. We shouldn't be hearing the chanting anymore. Yeah, I don't think so. I wonder how you were supposed to know to wait longer though. Like we, like we finally got to that, but was there something that was supposed to show us exactly how we would find that out? I guess by seeing, I guess you just needed to know that that screaming was 
them, unfortunately. Leaving. Okay, this is complete and under darkness, so we don't have them to guide us. So we do have to be careful. I think it's this way. Here. This path, the gravel path. Wait. That's that. We're looking for... Oh no, it's so much easier when they're leading you. We're looking for the down below. There should be, there, there, there it is. And they went down here. I guess you can always step out. You can always put your artifact down if you need to know exactly where to go. This is so well thought out. I don't want to fail this. This is it. There's no chanting. They're gone. Wow. What's behind here? Can I go this way? <gasps> There's something up here too. What is it? Scrolls? No. Oh, the game that they liked to play. Hmm. That's fine. Oh. It kills me. I have to do it again. We did it. This is the final one, y'all. Woo! I feel like I've been recording this morning for forever. It's been like five hours. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of stuff in Outer Wilds that you kind of do sometimes off, off screen too, though. Like as in, um, like me just having to get back to being in the right spot. Like that's still almost 22 minutes. We're in the subterranean. There. Wow. It's burned out. But there's stuff over here. Oh, no, no, no. No, there's not stuff over here. But we might want to place this down. I need to get the right scrolls. I have to find the right... Oh, they're there. We have to move somewhat quickly. Oh, wait, no. We have the whole time. We have the whole time. I still feel like something's going on, like music. The eye of the universe, sending signals to their home planet. It burned, he saw this eye. He screams, he shouts and gets everybody to go look and is like, whoa, this light is emitting. They destroy their home world. They destroyed their home world. That's what it was. You guys, they put all their faith in the eye of the universe, took every resource they had on their home world to create the stranger. And it was a lie. And it wasn't. They came and found out that they were going to be eradicated. Oh my gosh. And that's why they tried to escape death. They put everything, and that's why they went and they got angry and they burned. Oh, this is hard to see. And this is you going from one and it loads the next area. And it shows you how you're moving through these symbols. You hop off, you die if you fall in the water. We found that out, trust me, we found that one out. You go into this darkness, it's doing a reload. It's almost like a reload screen and you come back out in a new area. But then all of a sudden it says, he jumps off and dies. And that's, that's a little, and then you just have destruction. I, uh, we, we still need to do one more thing though. There is one thing we need to do. We need to escape the bubble. We need to go just beyond. Oh, that's a wide range. I need to push it somewhere else. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna drop it over here. That's such a sad story. Okay, there's nothing else here. It wasn't what they thought. It wasn't what they thought. Hmm. 
Well, I guess we might as well doze off. I think those are the last two. Let me double, triple. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, does it only form when that's there? Oh, it only lights up when that's there. Yeah. This is it. Okay. Um, I guess I might as well wake up. Yeah. I might as well wake up and doze off and we start the day and go to subterranean. Yeah. Oh, and I'm drowning in real life. No. That's weird. Wait, that wasn't an instant. I'm just gonna doze the whole way. That wasn't an instant death. We normally die right away. Like we wake up and we die right away. Okay, that's a little strange. Maybe I'm misinterpreting the one that talks about riding the boat and then you fall in and then it takes a couple seconds. We've never heard ourselves drowning. Subterranean, that's what we're headed towards. So we hop on the first boat. Oh, we're gonna die here. Or reset the day. We hop on the first boat. We go to subterranean. We look at all the pieces and we gotta figure this out. It's gotta be something. Hmm. I feel like the whole tone now is just incredibly somber. I mean, we knew that, we knew they had left their home world to go find the eye. But now we see why they never <gasps> just tried to return. One, I don't think they could return to their solar system. But two, they destroyed their planet in order to go to the eye. This eye has consumed so many people. Done. That's it, guys. A library full of intact slide rails hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide rail that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Intact slides reveal the sacrifice that was made to build the stranger. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants jumping off a raft during a transition between areas and falling below the world. Falling below the world. We need to hop on. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't, it wants us to hop. When we're in the transitionary periods, it wants us to jump off of the raft. Do we need to, oi. Watch yourself. Oh, well, I have to restart because it's doing it again. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> that must be something though. That must be like an important part to it. I wanted to go to the subterranean, but now we need to jump in between. I don't know. I don't like it. Let me read that one more time. Is that really what it wants us to do? I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants jumping off the raft during a transition area. Do they turn the lights out? Is that why you can extinguish the lights? It's loading. And before he... And he goes in here and he jumps out. No, he goes into, wait, maybe that's a specific one too. I don't think it's just anyone. I think it's a very specific one. It's not just any between areas. I, I think it might be specific. Why else would they show the two? He goes through one. So do we go through one cave and then we're going through the second cave and then we see those two kind of pass like that. And then we fall out here. No, we go through one more. So two caves we go through. 
and then we jump. So we go through two caves and then jump. We're gonna try it. I don't like it. Oh, I don't have it pinged. I don't like this. I reckon a couple more goes because I'm gonna try to do whatever this wants me to do. And then I wanna go to the subterranean area. Woo! Oh my gosh, this reminds me so much of the, all of a sudden I just had a blast to the past of like the jet sequences in, <laughs> in Battlefront 2, the space fights. We're gonna try this. No! Uh, do we need the eye? Yes, we have to go to bed first. We have to go to sleep. So in order to get the most amount of time, I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm gonna take us up to we're gonna grab this. We're gonna grab the artifact here. We're gonna go up to the furthest one. And well, mm, no, we'll do it here. I don't know if I need maximum amount of time. I probably do. Do I wanna have to do it again is the question. No. But we can only see what they're talking about. Let's hop in the dream world here. We're gonna hop in here, we're gonna do it. And then we might have to go again, and this time we might have to land in a higher point so that we don't break us, or we have more time, but for now, I think we can do this. This is this one, so we need to go through two. So we need to float through two dream states. Is this one? No. Oh, it's over here. That's tragic. No wonder. I think also that's why you see that where they cry at the realization that the eye and they go and they look at the slides from their home world because they were bamboozled because it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. Just like the Nomai, it, it ended up leading every... I think what's fascinating is we're also dealing with a bunch of different cultures that are identifying that the eye is going to be the destruction. And we find that out but we don't get to see what our we don't get to see what our culture does to respond it's almost like we just let it happen and we accept but i guess you never get that far to even see because the ending is us all i mean at the ending is <sighs> hmm. there's so much to unpack in this game Not that I need to turn these on, but okay. Spawn. Right, so I think we need to go through one and two and then we'll be fine. I also am gonna turn out all the lights because I don't understand. Or are the lights what keep it going? Well, there you go. That will do. <laughs> you know, you could put them off in the middle though, or you can just jump off. So I'll just jump off, but I guess that's how you could fall straight through. Or maybe that's how you have to, because it says he jumps off, but <laughs> I had to find that out for science. We didn't waste that much time either. I'm gonna try just jumping off of it instead of using because all it does is remove that. Oops, wrong way. Nice. I'm kind of worried about this though. Hmm. I 
That makes sense, though. The lights are kind of what make everything spawn. <laughs> Sounds about right. All right, here we go. So we're going to go through one. So this will be our first one we go through. So doo -doo 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 -doo. this is our first one. Go over to the side. Nothing to see. We go through the first one. I wonder if it even matters. Like when you're in this in between. We come out here. We're going to go through one more and then we're going to fall. I'm not liking this at all. See, I think it does matter. Wait, we successfully go through one more. Don't we successfully go through one more and then it's the third one? Or is it during the second one? I'm gonna try it here. Once we see utter black. Lights out. Those are the three different structures, right? Wow. If I fall down here, though, this will be the last one I can do. Don't I want to jump over there? Don't I? Do I want to back where I came from? That's the hidden home. That must be lowlands, the middle grounds, and then that, maybe? Extinguish. <sighs> One's been removed. One of the things. We have to use the principles that we've learned. Oh my gosh. We extinguished one of the lights using what we learned. So. One of them is gone. Let's turn on all the lights in this area too. Okay, this got me to subterranean. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you fall off. So we have this one. The stupid bells. Let's do... Okay, three different things. So we just found out that there's a... Okay, so that verifies... We're trying to remove these. We don't even need to use these. This whole time I thought you needed to know these. But the whole principle is that... You have to learn from the secrets how to get past and not find the solutions. <sighs> so that one, that successfully was the one that we used. That was from the lowlands and that taught us that if we jumped through the middle, we were fine. So the other principles we learned were the dropping down of this. So let's drop artifact. Oh, which one was it for? Let me try this one because it's already down right here. Is it? Shoot. Platforms? That's not going to be helpful. I'm also going to drown, guys. I have to wake up because I'm going to drown. Let me try to do something real quick. Let me die real quick. Does that stay lit? Okay, real quick. We need to get out of here. I'm going to drown. I need to take my artifact. Wait, do I still have my artifact? Yeah, I do. All right, we need to go to the high ground. We need to go to the highlands. Go highlands. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Ow. We need to get out of here and prolong our life. Go, 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 go. Rotate out, rotate out. We need to go all the way to the subterranean. Actually, if we want to have the most amount of time, all we have to do is go to the artifact itself, because you can get to the subterranean from there, right? If I doze off there, one of the principles is dying. We need to die at the artifact, or I keep wanting the artifact. If we die at the thing, yes, we need to make it there and then die at the thing. 
that's the other part. But I don't know if it stays. Oh gosh, I don't know if I'll be able to do this all. I'm going this way just because I want the dam to break first. Actually, it'd be nice to get there. Full speed ahead. This is huge. The other principle was you either fall asleep or you're dead. So I bet being dead plays into one of them. And then the other one is the platforms. I don't like this way. I'm assuming it stays unlocked as long as we are getting smacked. Woo! Damn, should be breaking soon. Go this way. Diagonal. We want to get pulled up in that before it breaks. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Pick me up. We want to get ready to go inside of that. Okay, let's watch the dam break. And then we're gonna swim up inside of the artifact. And then we're gonna die to get inside from the artifact side. That will take us down to the subterranean. And then we have to find our path. We've got this, guys. <laughs> as soon as the dam decides to wake up. I guess I could have done, I, I kind of could have done it probably from getting to the high ground, but I feel like this is the safest place to be. What? Do you think the dam's not gonna break because I messed with the system? Guys, never mind. <laughs> I was like, is the dam not gonna break because I messed with things? Let that show. I think more falls, so I don't want to jump down yet. Expose it? Okay, no. I don't think more falls. Yes. It's being exposed. There's our... It still is creepy, like, just the structure of it. You're like, I don't want to go under that. There's not a lot of me that wants to go under that. Come on. And I guess I could swim up and under already, but. I like landing here first and then going up and under. It scares me otherwise. I just don't like this. Don't like these. Okay, so we're gonna die. We're gonna die here. Let's hope this works. Okay. <gasps> Perfect. Now we go subterranean. Oh, snap. My legs have broke. <laughs> the death has to come into play with one of these. Oh, which one? Platforms. Is this one out? Did we successfully do it? Mm. Okay, do this, do this. Yes, the middle one's still out. So we're dead. If that one is the artifact, this one is the artifact, then maybe it's this one. No, it's still... Wait a minute. You can't hear anything. It can't wake you up because you're dead. So you, there's nothing to wake up. Your body is dead. You can go past. Holy cow. 
Extinguished. <gasps> and that leaves the last one. And this one, I have to do something where I can set this down because I need to be able to see the whole route. Let me set it down here. I need to get into the... It's dark. Okay. Uh, that platform, what am I supposed to do with that? You would have to fall through. You'd have to be able to fall through. No, it doesn't make sense. Can I go up? Let me go up the stairs here. Huh. Wait, if I went up the elevator, could I fall onto the platform? Because we can't go from the other direction. What happens if I go up? Oh, I can't do anything with it. I can't jump super high or anything. I can't zoom. Do I wake up and now I know? Like, I guess, do I... Do I think I know now? So I... I... Well, I can't be here when I'm awake. This is a dream state. This is so, so, so. Using all the principles we know, we need to be outside of it. Ugh. If only there was a way for me to move the platforms. <gasps> the platforms create the bridge. Wait! The platforms respond, I bet, to the thing! Place it, place it, place it, place it, place it. Oh my gosh. I make the bridge myself. All I have to do with this is the only thing around here. So if I rotate. Oh, there. There. I make the bridge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest game. I mean, like, I. I stand by. It was a little bit more terrifying than I liked, I, even with the reduced sprites. We've done it. But just this whole concept, using all three components that you know. <laughs> we can open the vault. And I don't know if we want to open the vault, to be completely honest. Okay. I can't see crap. Yeah, there's something here. I'm going down. Jump scare incoming. The vault. This is... This was where they saw the eye. This was the original... Oh my gosh. Do you think this is the core? This has to be the core of it. There's a... <gasps> no! 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 The one with the broken antler! Talk to the prisoner? Who are you? Light. What about it? 
Oh. He's gonna communicate with it. He can communicate. We can see what he can see. Oh my gosh. <sighs> He's been asleep in the vault. He woke back up. He woke up and he stopped it from harnessing the eye, which triggered the destruction. No, which turned back on its communication. They turned against him. Oh. They imprisoned one of their own? Because he didn't believe in what they were doing. And they went back. To using it. They imprisoned their own? The Marty Oldie artifact. Take vision torch. Project? Wait. Oh, whoa. You can see them wasting away and they died as civilization grew and it wore away. And it stayed in the eclipse. That's why we never found, that's why everybody felt, they felt the impacts from the eye, but they never, the Nomai, they never found it because this civilization shrouded it. But they thought they heard it. Well, they did, they did, but they just will never, they never. And it led to the Nomai's destruction as well. Them firing the escape pods. And when they crashed into everything, and they started building. And then the interloper came and obliterated all of them. The prisoner was trying to stop this from happening to other people. He saw how it completely took over his own people, destroyed their planet. The first founders, well, I love how this has come full circle. <laughs> but what do we do now? You want your stick back. <laughs> oh, he bowed to us. <laughs> we just freed him. Wait, but you just trapped me. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Sir, was I supposed to go with him? supposed to go with him guys let me drop the artifact wait drop the artifact here he's literally been sitting here his whole life no I'm stuck I can't get in the out 
It opened. It opened after he left. Okay. Oh, I guess one, one person elevator at a time. Fair enough. Fair enough. This has come full circle. And we freed him. This damn eye of the universe. This search for something. He's gone. No. But where is he gonna go? What is he gonna do? Here's the torch. Okay. Is this what happens? We hop on board the ship and we float off? <laughs> Is that... Is that what he wants to do? He left this here. So I guess we need to go back up top? I guess we go back. Oh my gosh. This whole time the vault had one of their own. I guess, yeah, I guess I'm gonna go back up. I didn't see him down there. Is he in here with me? I'm supposed to be finding him. I'm still asleep. I need to wake back up. I need to wake up, but then I die. In order to free him, I had to, I had to be dead to begin with. So I'm dead. And I won't come back. Okay, wait, no, I'm going back down. Because either way, I'm dead. I wonder if I can go to one of the beyond areas. He wants to hop on board and go somewhere. I mean, I guess we just take this one. I guess we should go over to the next area. No, because I won't be able to get back up here. I can't get back up if I wanted to. So do I just need to die? We saw his projection. We saw us going off together, but the only way that I can escape from this right now is if I, if I go under. Can I pick up the staff? No, I can't. Hmm. And we're done here. I mean, I guess you can rotate it again, but. I don't know. I'm a little lost. I thought we would have been zapped by now too. But I guess not. Let me see. Those lights. I don't think there's any other projections, guys. I think the only thing for me to do... That was the final ones dying out. That was the... That was the final ones. I think it's... We're coming to an end anyway. We might as well go doze by the fire. I think we just need to... 
doze by the fire upstairs until we go. There's, it's happening, the music's hitting. Mm hmm All of this, they originally started this. But even still, they, well, no, because they tried to stop the spread. Wait, I'm a little conflicted here then. Because I, I think maybe I even misinterpreted that because they were trying to not harness the eye of the universe. Well, they, they were a little bit, but I think they were also trying to stop it from communicating so that this wouldn't happen again. But it was happening. Either way, something's gonna happen to me, so. That was it. That was the end. That was the end. And then you just have, and then you just die out because you couldn't have unlocked the prisoner without being dead. There was no way. That was the only way that you got past. Unless, oh, maybe. You know, the only thing I thought about was maybe. No, but if you ended a rotation, it wouldn't stay blown out, right? I don't know. I feel like I got a bad ending. I don't know. I feel like I just got a horrible ending. Because I feel like there should be music and there should be an ending and... Um... I'm gonna go talk to everybody real quick. I mean, it did show Echoes of the Eye. It just doesn't really feel like an ending. What happened to the prisoner? Let me go talk to our people at the museum, maybe? Hmm. I mean, it said echoes of the eye, but feels like a cop out. It feels like what do you get when you get a bad ending and they're just like, congrats, welcome back. Like if I had failed, I can't help but feel like that's what it would have felt like if I had failed that final, you know, where you have to grab the warp core and then go back and hang through the anglerfish and everything. I can't help but feel like that's what it <laughs> If you had failed that and you just die, I think it would have been something like that. Do any of them have anything new? Closer to understanding. Tell me more. Where are the other travelers? No. Just give me a second. Let's call, let's call it a hundred samples. And six months and I should have the vague gist of sort of, <laughs> wow, okay. I can't wait to get started. I'm just gonna look, look what do you see? The know my statues at opened. A new language. Okay, so you can talk to him about a new language, but he doesn't give you the tools. But maybe in the future we'd be able to. It's just the deep space. But there's nothing new in here. I think I just got a bad ending. But I can hardly see how that's the result because or how that would be a bad ending because the truth be told, we just found out what happened. And we found a prisoner inside. I guess we could try to go back to the stranger one more time, but maybe I'm trying too hard to make sense of something that's not. It is what it is. Go to the launch tower? I don't know. <laughs> If nothing looks new, then... Which it wouldn't be, because it's a new day, so nothing is gonna look new. That is it. I think that's it. I'll go back to the ship, though, because we'll, the ship will show us new information. Right? The ship should show us completed.
Yes. That's it. The sealed vault. I met one of the stranger's inhabitants who was imprisoned within the vault. The prisoner showed me a vision revealing the actions they took that resulted in their eternal confinement. I used the vision torch to share my knowledge of the solar system's history with the prisoner. The prisoner left one final vision for me by the water's edge as a farewell. Me and him riding off until the sunset? So he was trying to get it to stop. Oh, he's so sad. I feel like there has to be more. I don't know. I feel like there's got to be more with the final image or something, or maybe not. Maybe that was just him showing us like what this like sweet little message would be. But otherwise, guys, I, I think I would have to know, like I'd have to know what to do now to get maybe the proper ending for Echoes of the Eye. But I, we discovered as much as, I mean, I think we discovered nearly everything. This outro is going to be a little bit empty compared to other things because I do think I was sharing my thoughts a lot throughout this playthrough. I talked about this in the main game as well. I do feel like I try really hard to share my thoughts and feelings and opinions with you guys as I'm working through a game. So by the time I get to the end of it, I don't have to try to regurgitate all of the thoughts and feelings that I had. Obviously, I played with the reduced rights. I think if we were to kind of summarize everything that was happening in this, I entered into here. I feel like, you know, it took me a little bit to figure out how to get to the stranger. I will say, like, I took my, I took my time with that. It's crazy looking back now on all the mechanics or all the, like, I would have gone here and then I would have found this and then I would have gone here. But when you have all, when you have the knowledge that you do by the end, after you've found all of these pieces and all of these mysteries and hidden objects, it feels so easy. But if you remember for a second what it felt like that first time you played, your mind was running wild. You're just trying to figure out like, okay, how can I make the most of this day? Where do I go? There's three different, like, it took me a little bit to figure out that there was like Hidden Gorge, River Lowland, Cinder. Then there were three secrets, like everything was coming in threes, right? And then we needed to unlock this vault. So it took a little bit longer for me to understand this. I will say that I think I personally enjoyed the base game. I mean, I know it's hard to compare like a DLC to the base game. The DLC feels like wildly different than the base game because you're dealing with these dream states and kind of coming in and out. And then you have the introduction of another species that was the kind of in a way like, um, you know, the group before the Nomai were after the eye of the universe and who's to say that there's not another one before this species too the elk the elk folk so you don't know but i think this important factor of this with both of these lessons that we saw with nomai and with um these elk i i wonder you know i just had this crazy thought i wonder if if you own the game for six months or like after you talk to hal for six months i wonder if six months time from now he would give you a translator that'd be such a cool little side thing sorry and you could go back through and like translate everything but um yeah i i feel like there's learning lessons from both of these which both of them saw this knowledge or this wisdom whatever you want to like it's called the eye of the universe i think we could or attach a label to it for anybody i think there it's like this thing that you want um it's this thing that helped them hold on to something and brought them all together like they were a together group like all of these species they are very much this community i think that translates across all three including my own um the harthians as well they're very like they're bonded by music there's all of these connections between the two and actually it was really cool too because with this culture as well they had a fondness and love for music and so that was actually something that stood out to me in all of this game was how much the music was an integral part of the game maybe not integral but it was a big piece there is you saw their shared love for sound and music and discovery discovery you know, even though it led to the destruction of their people, both of these species, they were after the truth or they were trying to find and discover more things. After they saw something, they couldn't just let it be. They needed to then go and discover. And so I felt through this whole playthrough, this 
overwhelming sense of like need to find more. I just wanted to uncover all of the secrets. And even if I didn't understand all the secrets in the moment that I found them or like, you know, I was so like uh, my eyes lit up when I found these burned reels, but then I didn't even see them all the way. And then I came back and found them and I just felt in shock and wonder throughout the whole game. And all it made me think was how incredible the minds behind it are and have been. Um, I really do think that there's another piece to this and I have definitely missed it. So I do wanna go ahead and <laughs> forewarn you guys, this might be a preemptive ending. We might just have a follow-up video with just a small piece to kind of tie it all together and wrap it up. But otherwise, it has been my absolute honor to play this game and to bring this playthrough to you guys, whether it's through my brute force and weird way of thinking. I hope that you guys saw something maybe you've never seen before in a playthrough. If you guys watch a lot of these playthroughs or if it was your first time watching this game, I definitely encourage you to go try it for yourself. Uh, even if you know some of the solutions, it might make it even it would be a little a change on it, but you might come up with some cool new ways yourself. And yeah, this was just an absolute pleasure to play. So I'm going to sit in my thoughts for a little bit. I'm going to figure out um, if there's more for me to do, because that felt like a it felt like a half ending. It was like an ending, but it was like a half ending. So, yeah. Let me know y'all's thoughts and feelings on the DLC. I guess I didn't speak on the DLC too, too much, but um, the DLC to me felt a little bit different. I was going wild in my own head about it having scares. And then once I turned those off, I think I turned off my, something kind of switched, you know? And I think that I don't regret turning on the reduced rights for a second because that seriously did change my whole perspective on it. And I think I just ended up being more willing to have some trials and errors and fail and learn and discover new things. And so it was a little bit different to have this kind of horror element to it, if you will. I don't know what, I don't know if I would really say it's a horror element, but I think compared to the base game, it definitely is a change of pace. So I can see how that could be a little bit abrasive for some people and it might not be their speed. Um, there was, this was my own making. So when I say this, I want you guys to know that I think this was my own doing, but because of the structure of you have breach, dam break, then the end of the 22 minutes, I felt like I probably wasn't making the most of the days. So me personally, I felt like I was waking up so many times, but I was the own, like I was responsible for that. So I don't know if anybody else felt that in their playthroughs, if they were trying to accomplish a little bit more. It took me a while to try to make use of the whole day. And it took me a long time to realize I could have, oh, you could have sped up all of this if you know to fall asleep like further down the canyon, like fall asleep at the canyon and then use the passageway to go around, that would have given you so much time back and then you maybe wouldn't have felt the repetitiveness that I personally did because of my own choices. I'm taking full accountability, but that was just a side of it that I did notice as well. But anyways, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I will follow up if there's any other little tidbits that I might have missed and this wasn't truly the ending, but this has already been almost five hours and I love you guys so much and thank you for watching and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, YouTube.